niggas were talking like T-Pain You and T-Pain should do a podcast together No the fuck we should <laughs> Never fucking working with this nigga again after this shit Hey bro what the fuck is happening over here This shit's stupid man When this air bro so I can not post this shit This shit's stupid as fuck Man ain't no Valentine's Day with that deep ass monster voice you had nigga <laughs> This is the most fun I've ever had doing an interview with Fire Chan. What show am I on? Finally, I'm on TV. I've done a few podcasts in my day, but this takes the fucking day. The Nappy Boy Radio Podcast, live with your boy, T Pay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Netboy Radio Podcast. I am your homeboy, T-Pain, a.k.a. your girlfriend's boyfriend. And I am Allison, a.k.a. Alizé, a.k.a. the girl that's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Pip, a.k.a. Mr. Fresh Prince, a.k.a. Mr. God Damn! We'll add in your name card after. I didn't cool, have one cool. ready. No worries. Me and Pip got buttons. You don't have. You don't I have got a button. button. I got to start making buttons for everybody. I we never know button. who the fuck is. is I got a show button. Up. Yeah, I got a button. Hey, 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 hey. I have to bring oh, Vanessa's energy into this. You're doing good. You're doing good yeah. so far. You're doing good oh. so far. Oh. Right. Um, guys, we got a great show for you tonight. Alize, why? I did it. I'm sorry. I just wanted to do it. Hey, man. Go ahead. What? Why? Why? Why did I say that, Alize? Because it's true. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to being true. Guys, at some point, we're going to complete the puzzle. We keep getting these niggas one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I think they be talking about this shit. Why they just like, bro, it's your turn. You got to go. <laughs> but we're going to get them. We're going to get them all at once at some point. You know, I, 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 I'm stealing all the ideas. So at some point, they're going to have to come see me. Uh, man, we, we really have stolen a lot of shit from y'all. But, I, I you know. I but at least you it. tell them. At least you say it and say, "Hey, hey, 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 I stole it." Yeah, I or don't which we thing. did it too. I don't want y'all to stop doing shit because y'all know niggas are stealing it. So we gonna keep doing that. But uh, guys, one of my great friends. I hope so. You know, you know I, just, I, I don't want to say that, and then he'd be like, "Oh, I am, I am great. <laughs> great is crazy. It was a conversation. Great <laughs> is wild. We need to <laughs> look, man. I heard you said in that. We need to have. A I met you twice, my boy. I met you <laughs> twice." <laughs> Fellow Come on. I'm, I'm putting it out there. It's one of my great friends, guys. Give it the motherfuck up for Chico Bell. Yeah. 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 Do we spell that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. First of all, uh, thank you. Thank you for having me, T Bang. <laughs> thank you for coming. This is there. nah. First of all, I want to say thank you. This is an honor. And I didn't know you were stealing stuff from us, man. That's, yeah. That's good to know. So when we start stealing shit from you, I don't want no publishing. <laughs> Do it up. Do I don't want to see no publishing bill They're when good. I come no. out with my own version of the long lap dance song. You gotta <laughs> let that shit slide. I don't want to hear nothing. No, nah, the good news is, is that we both have good shit that we can that we can you know borrow from each other. Hey man, this is a beautiful setup you have here, man. Thank you, uh, man. Thank you. I man. didn't really know what to expect, man. This is a very unique experience. Uh, T Pain has a questionnaire <laughs> that you have to fill out before you do. I'm snitching. <laughs> Fuck that. I had no. This is the most random set of questions I have ever had to answer. It was like, I, I got, I, but what is your favorite color? But do you thing. have a problem being served dairy products? Yeah. And the next one, do you know the muffin man? I'm like, what the shit? Because you know T Pain, a wild nigga, he got a lot of you know resources. But the, 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 you, I, I will say, you had the fucking the wildest goddamn answer. Really? Everybody else was just normal. Just Damn, my favorite color is blue. I have fucking he here's my turquoise. Tam- here's the temperature I like when organ rooms. My favorite cut. This nigga said light black was his favorite <laughs> yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, nigga said, "What's your favorite color other than black?" I was like, "Light black." Oh, I, had, I was gonna say charcoal. The fuck y'all up. <laughs> But you gotta be careful with T-Pain Cause you know this nigga is different You fuck around and answer them questions wrong And the Oompa Loompa come out with a birthday cake Wearing a top hat And now you like man I don't know As I came in saw the stripper pose I was like man I don't, I don't know what the fuck We can do tonight Everybody, man. Everybody has their, their temperatures that they like So we ask people uh, what's your ideal temperature uh, when you walk in the room? And this nigga said, fuck if I know. Yeah, fuck if I know. What type of shit is that? <laughs> he had to type this out. What, what's the temperature when you walk in the room? I'm going to dictate your shit. Like, 
fuck around and say the wrong thing. This nigga can't come over here. Yeah, right? nah, yeah. we want to make it comfortable for you. Now that's the is, whole. That's this the is whole being thing. around you is comfortable enough, man. You're that's a legend, cool as hell. Man. Shout out to being around me. You're a legend, man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. We. I, hey, you know what? Uh, a lot of people have superpowers, and you know, like it's regular shit to them. But you got one superpower that I wish I had. What's that? You can learn songs really fucking fast. I do. Like, <laughs> like I do. a song can be out for two days. Yeah. And this nigga had the whole thing yeah. ad libs. I all. remember with yours when you came out with that. We uh, well, oh, he it's rough now. Do it. it's just, uh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Now. that, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna have to just. You know the song. Wait, which one? <laughs> The one that you was you featured on your own remix, you know what I mean? Whoa, yeah, yeah, ooh, I like that. Ooh, yeah, didn't you? I already know what it takes to get in you. Ooh, bring, bring it, it back. back. She put that pussy Jay's on me. Fine. She know how to make, make it clap, make it clap, make it clap, yo. I make it clap, yo. I got them haters that can you open that door. And how them umbrellas coming out of that door. How the front doors open up like the back doors. I be like, you ain't rich enough. You ain't got my bitch in the Lamborghini. You ain't got my bitch in the sitting up. Like you been fucked it up. Now your bitch made us say that champagne. It took me a long time to get it. Should have done one night. I made a hot song. And now the chicks won't tape to a nut dog. But it's been five times. You can't catch on. Maybe on the, on the next, next song. Next song. My I can't let you know what I mean. You know how long it took me to figure that shit out? My DJ, you still ain't figured DJ it out. Monte. You fucked it up twice while we was just doing it. Man. DJ Monte <laughs> is on tour with me. That fucking 24 7. This nigga still don't know the words on the song. He still asks me to this day what I say. On the uh, not a chicks won't tape, so I'm not going. And he's still every time I tell him, he's like, "Fuck, I forgot again." I'm nice. like, "You just don't want to learn the song." I'm What's like, crazy is when we <laughs> did the '85 South Show in Chicago. Twister is one of my favorite rappers. Y'all, mm-hmm, and uh, mm-hmm. Twister mm-hmm. came out and performed with us. And I had to rap the words to his song. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, I saw that clip. He didn't remember the words. Like Shut he up. said, wow. he you know never, the words. Twister. He never, he never, he never raps that song. It's a song called Emotions. He said he hadn't performed that song since. Adrenaline Rush came out, so he said he didn't remember it. So, but uh, we requested for him to do that song, and he came and whispered to me, he "Was like, hey, nigga, I need you to rap that song." <laughs> Step dogs. I was like, I got you. Yeah, I, I, got I you. actually fun wanted, fact. I, I, I actually want to hear you do it. Fun fact, though. Fun <laughs> That's fact. That's the best song of all time. Do you know fact, that? Twister don't remember none of his shit. <laughs> yeah, I can understand why. Ever. Like you know, it's a lot of words. Yeah, you it's know a what I mean. Bunch of words. Twister don't. Twister does not remember his shit. Like it's not. It's not because of old age or he be high or anything like that. It's just a lot of fucking words. It's a lot of words. Every time I've seen him perform, if he doesn't have like a teleprompter with his shit on it, you it's right. you about the crowd you gonna get an email tomorrow. I'm, no, I, I mean, I, I, it's I mean, tough, it's a normal man. thing. It's, it's a normal it's thing. It's normal, but imagine having that many songs with that, that many, many words. fucking words. That's a lot of words. Every song is. <laughs> It's a fucking billion speed, words. That's you know my favorite mean? song. Though. Well, I'm emotions glad you actually knew it. You, you really, moment. emotions is yeah, your favorite song. Favorite. Man, that's one of my favorite Twister songs yeah. too. Yeah, Creep yeah, Fast is it. my favorite one. Oh yeah, that's my shit oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck yeah, with that too. Awesome. But yeah, so he was highly impressed with the fact that I knew these words like that, and you know, it's it's really a childhood thing. When I was young, my uncle used to make me learn songs to, as punishment. <laughs> okay, what? Yeah. <laughs> so 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 hey, you know what? You know that TikTok thing? They be like. I'm so in love with her. They make you do the thing like they was giving the. Shut up. Y'all looking at no, me like y'all ain't seen this fucking no TikTok, No one's on man. your for you page. I, t- I, I try to. You seen it. Man, hey, I just salute you for having drug addicts on your team, <laughs> man. <laughs> Nah, cause no, no, seriously, cause a lot Shit. of people don't get enough credit for giving people a shot of rehabilitation. <laughs> and my man, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, but y'all gonna act slow right now. My, and then nah, tomorrow nah, when niggas slow. wake no. up, they gonna say, "Oh, I remember." I but he was, <laughs> oh, this my nigga, man is, my man, listen, this bro, nigga's bro. for you, page like, you, like this nigga's sure. for you, page like BET uncut. Sure, sure, sure. Right. For real, Boys I just can't even fucking, I can't. Yeah, but no, that was a childhood thing. When I was young, you know, my father got killed when I was two years old. So all of the men in my house were like my influences. Gotcha, gotcha. And a lot of them were in the street. So my uncle used to get mad at me when I would get in trouble by my mother and walk around with like I had an attitude. He was like, all right, little nigga, since you feel like you know everything, <laughs> learn this song. By the time I get back, you know what? You won't get in no trouble. You don't know and I'm going to beat your ass. That's the trouble? They Damn. just went straight to that? That was it. That's what I feel story. And like... then I would sit and I would sit... <laughs> And I would sit and learn these songs. And it was always, it was a Twister song, a do or die. <laughs> it was some gangster shit. The it was whole, the worst. It was the, and I would learn it. And he would be like, all right, little nigga, right, you got to nah. go ahead outside. So what was the, what's the process? Uh, I would sit and I would listen to it. And I would pause it. Because you mind, this is 
tape. This is, tape. Yeah, this tape so nice. I'm on the tape. I would listen to it, the first part, and pause it, and then I would try to rap it. And if I messed up, I, wherever I messed up at, I would start all the way back over from the beginning. So Fuck and that. it's just Damn. how I internalize it. So once I got it, I got it. It's just. It's I've only easy. done one song like that. That was My Way by Usher. Really? It took you long to learn My Way? No, song? I mean, it, took, it was like a night. I don't even know what happened. I just wanted to know that song really bad. I liked it so much. I just wanted to learn it. And just one night, I but just fucking... is it more difficult being a musician? Like, because you got a lot of Oh, no, of this was... I mean, I was fucking... Like... I, I was, like, young. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm I saying, like, but as a musician, do you think that that kind of clouds your memory of learning somebody else shit? Because you got so much shit to learn. I don't learn think so. Own? I don't think so. It's just... I think uh, being fucking slightly autistic and dyslexic and shit like that kind of hinders it a little bit but you know other than that i think no nah, no nah, man autism is is that's like we got asperger's a little bit like i got i do. definitely got asperger's all the, all i got it yeah nah but it's that was crazy how you said that you <laughs> said that like <laughs> like it was a regular motherfucking thing nah you <laughs> said that like it's a room upstairs with some asperger's in it <laughs> that's funny you said that <laughs> no i'm saying it's like cuz i'm was it ADHD? I think is that I think yeah. I, I, I yeah, feel like deficit. I have that. Right. I feel like I haven't gotten diagnosed, and I'm not, you know, I'm not like claiming it that I have it, but you know, we all the do. shit is there. It's, <laughs> it's like it's, the, a, it's a book called the DSM Five, a Diagnostic Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders, and if you read it, you just diagnose yourself. The whole we all it's just what it is. We all slow. It's like everybody. web. It's like web MD. Like yeah, everybody got cancer slow. and shit. Yeah, it's crazy. yeah exactly. Yeah, nah, I got it's you. like that. So. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Um, I can read, but I cannot read a book. I can't, can't read focus a book long either. enough to. Read I can't a book. focus long enough to get. You ever try book. listening to one? No, that'll work. That I helps. feel. I feel like I would start thinking about other stuff, like I do when I read. Oh no, nah, no, nah, not when you. If if like a good one to start with is uh, the Art of Respect by Jay Prince. Cause he narrates it himself, and you'll be scared to stop listening with that nigga. <laughs> you know Niggas, mean? you so, sleep. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> so so that, that's a good one for you to start with. Start with the auto respect by Jay Prince. Cause you ain't gonna be thinking about nothing else when that nigga talking. You gonna be scared as shit to stop listening. Like, so start with that one. That's a good oh, warm up book. I found out the only thing that I can pay attention to longer than ten minutes is uh, woodworking videos. Wow. Pause, oh. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ultimate one. Wow. Whoa. What that type is, of shit is that? All right. The only thing you can find. Come on, black, come on, black people. <laughs> come on, that black people. She, she knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Whoa. She knew man. what I was talking about. You, you, you put you, that you. on the questionnaire. No. Oh, my. <laughs> I'll make sure that. No, what is it? Wait, but back to the Asperger's. <laughs> I, no, I just like. How do you know when someone has Asperger's? Uh, it's a it's it's a couple of ways you could tell. Just to you know, I did this type of work before I started doing comedy full time. I was okay. A let's, uh, let's fucking elaborate on that. I was a quali- <laughs> I was a qualified professional. I worked with people who had mental disabilities, and that's why I know the DSM five because I had to read it for my job. Okay. And it's, Different different levels of, of the way things. he said that was so professional. I mean, I did. So it's different levels of of different aspects of personalities that you can different traits, personality traits that you can tell when somebody has. You know, it's a spectrum. That's why they call it the spectrum. Like Asperger's right. used to be his own disorder, but now it's just lumped into it's autism. It's on the spectrum. Of yeah, it's autism. just lumped yeah. into oh, autism okay. now. So so it's like it's just you know it's just like borderline personality disorder, just yeah. a, a lesser version of it. Yeah, I mean? that's how they made lesser. the spectrum. It's, yeah, like, you ain't, you ain't, it's different You levels, ain't all the way fucked up. You ain't all the way fucked up, but, but you, 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 you on the way. You know what I mean? You're you on, on, you on the same train okay. You know what I mean? All the way, so. Wait, what was your line of work though? Uh, I would work with kids with autism, um, people with substance abuse issues, like my man right here. <laughs> like, yep. That's why I yep. feel my man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel my feel man. You know I've, what always, man? I've always... I fuck you know with what? this. This is my favorite One person. One of these shows, we're going to get you checked, bro. I, I feel like... And I'm only saying that because he offered me the cocaine when I came in. Oh, my God. Why the fuck would you do that? Why yeah. would you do that? Nigga, what the fuck you mean? Why would I do that? Damn. What type of shit is that? Nigga, you gonna get mad at me for some I got a, You know, I got, I, got a, I got a twin. This nigga gonna ask you me. You got an evil twin? Yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? I got you. Word. Why would you tell everybody that type of shit? Hey, should why I? Why would you offer me some cocaine, nigga? That, why would you even do that plan? That was not me. Like, he got mad at me. You gonna drink? You, you smoke? I'm like... <laughs> 
Nah, well, with a cocaine and I got it. Oh, my I got it. You just going to force me to be on dope. Oh, I see. Man. I'm just trying to have everybody have a good time. That's it. That's all and I want to have. And you resorted to cocaine. Time. I don't want I mean, to eat water. You know, or that was crazy. Juice? Not in all seriousness, though. You ain't never did no cocaine, have you? I mean, mm. I oh, have. yeah, the fucking that weird ass <laughs> night you had. Oh, oh word. Yeah, talk you got about it. Oh, shit. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> you you act like about him it. right now. What that the- weird ass night you had. That was some fucking. Sheesh, that was a shut weird. Shut the fuck up. I'm just saying. People, I don't do, I've never done cocaine before. I mean, that's just. That didn't sound right. And I'm not a girl. <laughs> like, that, shut the fuck up. That didn't even sound right. I'm not gonna lie to you. That just sounds Anyway, I'm, what's going on? Yeah. yeah um, so you back. were you were in that line of work, yes. but like I had like uh I worked at a living facility. I'm not gonna say the name because I don't want to you know. <laughs> but I worked at a living facility okay. and and like it was it's so unique to see grown people with mental disorders like because it gets yeah. to a point where you just certain family members you think that they don't care but they just get to a point where they can't take care of them yeah, yeah be I got too you, strong I got you, got like, you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. you can't do it so they would have them in these living facilities and i tell you a story like how crazy it was it was this lady it was this old lady in there right who was uh in a wheelchair but she was like having sex with all the residents <laughs> what not all of them true story <laughs> wow but she was burning them Oh damn! damn. Truth that this is a true. You can't make this shit up. Well, somebody she was, had to burn her. She was burning. Her. I don't know where she got it from, but she was burning them. <laughs> and my client, I came to to see my client and wait, hold I on, guess, we got a young person here. You know what burning? You know what burning is? I, I don't. No. STDs. Damn. She was giving them an STD. She was giving everybody an STD. Oh, she was giving everybody an STD. Burn, okay. Yeah, she was burning them. Gotcha. So there you go. I was, I I, you know what? Thank I kind of felt it. <laughs> Thank you. I felt the vibe coming. I was like, wait a minute. This is a, this is a this is a I'm learning. It's a millennial term. I don't yeah. know if she knows what the fuck we're talking yeah. about. I came, I came to see my client, and I guess it was his day to get burnt. Some ass. To get burnt. And I was, and the lady, the nurse that worked there, was like, "He is so upset that we won't let him go down there." And I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to talk to him. I'm like, "You can't." Do it. He was like, "I'm fucking grown. If I want to catch something, it should be my choice." What I was like, the fuck? I'm like, "Bro, you can't want some he pussy there." He, he was risking like, all. "Yes, I do." He risking I, I want to go to her room, and they won't let me. And you're my worker, and you should fight for me. Let him let her come down here. I'm like. Damn. Damn. Slim, I can't. I can't. He just, he that, just like, wanted. So that's the type of stuff you see. I had a dude that worked and lived in that same facility. He would make me tapes, like cassette tapes that he would burn okay. off of the radio. And every time I come, he would give me one. I still got them, but <laughs> I don't just, have shit to listen to them on. <laughs> and then the fucked up part is I think about it, I'm like, them bitches probably jamming. Them bitches yeah, probably jamming. This is on the archive. Oh, my God. The radio, the radio at that point was, 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 was like every song was different. It was crazy back yeah, then. Jam. Hey, listen, man. Yeah. It, it, God it was damn, a unique line a... of work. You learn a lot, though. Like one of the things, the first things that they teach you is the tr- that, that people with disabilities want to be treated normally. Yeah. They don't yeah, want yeah. you to look at them like they dis- disabled mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that's one of the first lessons that you learn and then you learn a lot like a lot of them people that was living in that facility man like it was one dude who had a heroin addiction real bad in the 80s and lost like 15 16 million dollars okay damn and had proof of it like showed me the Fuck. newspaper clippings from he was from uh massachusetts i believe and he showed me the newspaper clippings with all his information how he lost all his money and all that so it's like damn put it in perspective for you yeah Yo, Did man. it ever make you question yourself? Like, man, once I read that book, I was like, I'm oh slow, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> oh I'm just, I'm just, gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm all the way open minded. Like, I'm telling you, man, I challenge everybody. Just read the first two chapters. It won't take long. You'll see. You, you got right. something wrong with you all the way. <laughs> but, but something gonna be wrong. But with one you. of the things that I do say about that particular book is that you can tell that we don't have, they don't have black people represented in labeling the things because mm. ptsd is a mental disability in my mm-hmm, it's, a, it's mm-hmm. you know what i mean we all as black people have we, it we all have that we all have it like <laughs> yeah. i always wonder like how the fuck did we just develop that shit because you ever been <laughs> driving and like i don't know what my daughter i remember my daughter was what like six years old we was riding the police got behind us she was like oh shit daddy and i'm like baby how did you you, know? you don't even <laughs> you don't have enough experience like, how did you know she just naturally was like oh in the back just oh shit naturally. daddy i said oh shit you're right well, <laughs> just naturally you know? like oh. so i mean we picked that up and i you know we it's jokingly but 
we need more representation in all aspects of life, not just absolutely. And the shit that uh, absolutely fucking goddamn, give it up for that shit. Yeah, it really is like that. Like I know my shit is straight. I know everything that I'm, everything that like I need to drive, like is good. I'm not fucking like. I'm good, but if I see the cops going the other way, I gotta look the entire time until yeah, them bitches mm-hmm. get out of my view. Why yeah. do we do that? <laughs> that <laughs> admit it, crazy. If that motherfucker, Dangerous. if that motherfucker even indicate that he's gonna turn uh-huh. around, he coming to get you. He coming to get me. Yeah, I could right. be in a get convoy you. of seventy cars. Right, and I'm talking and about. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Let's, uh-uh. I, I was leaving like your motherfucking house, driving. This is already bad. <laughs> We driving, and I'm like, I'm looking at, the, I'm looking at the motherfucking speedometer. The speedometer definitely said, how, how many miles out can you go like outside you your house? I like how you say that. You say speedometer. How many like speedometers do you can go outside your 35. house? Thirty-five. Huh? Thirty-five. Oh shit. The street is thirty-five. I might have been going real fast there. Come All on. All right, I was doing like fifty-three. Jesus. So boom, cop pulled us over. Leaving your house after yes. a show tonight, right? Literally breaking the law. What? He pulled here. us over. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we all in the car. We like. Man, ain't no way in hell we going that fast. Everybody looked at the speedometer. That shit said 53. I'm, I'm the thing argue. is 55. And a 35. He said we was doing 69. Pull us over. Mm-hmm. This nigga over here. Man, what you put us over for, man? Yeah. And we, be, like, oh, and we man. like, oh, my it's God. Time and you know before he was, before and you I know turn we, around, it's, it's, it's <laughs> white people in here. So... <laughs> Are you referring to an actual nigga <laughs> no, or just a white person that you <laughs> refer to as a nigga? I'm definitely referring to the nigga as a nigga. <laughs> oh, no, he not went. him. Oh, the nigga. You can't ride with buddy, Slim no more. Buddy with you the glasses. Ride, you can't ride with him. You he he, he went no residual that nigga. nigga. That nigga's a liability. But the, 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 the thing about it was they pulled us over. Now, he's in the car. I'm already pissed off because they pulled us over. And we all looked you at You pissed this off because you broke the law. I wasn't going that fast, bro. I'm you telling you, we all looked at that to. shit. That's not the point. The point <laughs> is, he pulled us over. Boom, he in there talking mad shit. So he done left here. He's fucked up. He's he not fu- going to jail. Dude. Yeah, of course he's not going to jail. So he doing all the shit talking. <laughs> so what you pull us over for, man? We ain't even, he in the back seat. <laughs> what you, what pull, you pull us what over you pull for? Us we ain't even over. did nothing. He like, well, shit. Well, I left the guns and the drugs and the cocaine at home. <laughs> so she like, he say, he say, well, where y'all going? He's like. It's three o'clock in the morning. Where you think we going? So he oh going crazy. He making bomb jokes and at the I'm airport. Not, you know what? I would trip. I would trip, but I wasn't tripping because ain't nobody wrong. Ain't nobody did nothing. Were so you boom, high? I'm fine. I was high as yeah, fuck. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm not tripping. I'm just listening to him talk to shit. He talking to shit. So boom, he's still talking shit. I'm just, for gonna, no update, I'm so, just gonna update Chico on something real quick. Uh, Pip waited until his mid thirties to start. Getting high. This, that's why we made it up so much. Oh, yeah. He he, he did a little do. I can tell he don't he don't have yeah. a protocol because you know <laughs> you don't outwardly open openly offer cocaine. To <laughs> he did a, a, he you did do, a, you dap a nigga up and then say I got the coke and, that, and then that's it. You don't like where did you learn your where you from? Where you from originally? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I, I want no. Say I you want from. you. To, I want you to tell him genuinely where you're from because this has been a, d- a debate of ours for about ten years. Let's go. Let's see. Where you from? Let's see what you say to that. To that. To that question, Pip. I'm from Chicago. No, you fucking are not. Why bro. not? No, you are not. Where am I from? You're from Detroit. Oh my. You from That's Detroit? not the same place. Pip. Why would you say Chicago instead of Detroit? He because it sounds cooler. It sounds. He don't know what he's talking about. Detroit and Chicago is equal in coolness, like. <laughs> like you tripping and both of them places are dope. It's like, not. Detroit got more abandoned places. You can't just you can't the fucking the, I was the, I was the born in Detroit, Detroit the, raised in Chicago. You Thank was born you. in Detroit, raised for in like Chicago. five minutes. I don't even. You think was you, only in Detroit oh for five minutes. Yeah, and then you as soon as I got Chicago. up out of there, what part of Chicago? He was there when the fucking he was there when the automotive industry collapsed. You know what the fuck was going on? Can I finish my story? Yeah, go. Jeez, man. So boom, right? He's in there talking all the shit in the world. And I'm like, man, I'm like, really? We probably about to go to jail. So then this other car pull up. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, two, going cars, to jail two cars. Two cars. going to jail car for sure. We going to jail. Yeah. The lady pulls up. She said, hey, so what's going on? And we like, nigga, you pulled us over. We don't know what's going on. Mm. So she's like, well, well, calm down, sir. We just, I just want to know what's going on. And he's like, well, your guy pulled us over. It's three o'clock in the morning. We're trying to go home. Matter of fact, we're going to the club. It's the after hour. Oh, I left the other guns in the coke in the, in the crib. 
<laughs> so I mean, what y'all want to do? What yeah, are we can't, doing? You, you can't. Talk uh, he to went. He you went. He went. He like went. That. He went crazy. You can't talk to. So finally, like finally. <laughs> look, 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 look! Now you trying to hide the shit. What is the verdict of so, the story? Finally, I mean, she. He. He came back. He was like, you know. I, I just saying, man, just slow down a little bit. You know, he gave me a ticket. He was like, you're not going to be on your thing. You know, just pay They it. know where you came from. They know exactly where I came they from. They know where you came from. They pulled Lotz over one time leaving here. They was like, just came from t Payne house. Huh? <laughs> well, what time was that? Like, because I need to leave <laughs> now. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah, the just fuck? drive slow. Just drive leave, slow. Just go under. Leave at 3 o'clock. Go dude. under the shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, man, having all that background, I didn't know that was. I didn't know that's what you did as a Yeah, day. yeah. So, I did a lot uh, of shit, man. I mean, this is going to be pretty fucking cool to ask you the most important question we ask. On the Navy Boy Radio podcast. Okay. You didn't forget. How is your mental health? Mental health check. <laughs> Look at his face. I think he has to read the book again. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> If something was wrong with me, that's not the way you introduced a motherfucker talking about it with all that shit. You fucking around to have an epileptic seizure in this bitch fucking with T-Pain. Bro, you got too much money, my nigga. You know what? No, you know what you it is? You talking about shit. So we ain't never had this much shit to sparkle and all. I got the same. All. I got the same. That's, that's the thing about uh, my shit. I'm more stupid. I'm more irresponsible than everybody else. So I would buy shit. Like the fucking, like the lights, and I would do all this shit. Y'all absolutely have the money to do all this shit, but y'all ain't stupid. So no, we just is, don't know where to go to get this shit set up at. We got to utilize shit, you. Like, that is shit from Guitar Center. This is, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man, uh, my mental health is, is you know, it's progressing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, all, it's, it's a constant, you know, like I just went to Africa. I saw you when I was in Africa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went to Ghana. And the reason I went to Ghana is because I lost my mother in 2021 to COVID. My mother passed away from COVID. Uh, and, sorry, yeah, and I realized I hadn't started the grieving process, you know, because I was, when I went home, it, it happened so fast. She called me and told me she caught it. She was going to take the time off work. Yeah. She, I, you know, I went to do a couple shows. By the time I got back to my house, she was on life support. It was like, Oh, oh, that's just three so or four fast. days and um you know then she i go home to dc i was there for three days she passed i got there like april 31st she passed may 4th and it was all i watched her pass away it was and this is like the you know i didn't done this a couple times in my family yeah, you know like yeah, i said yeah. my father got murdered when i was two i don't remember him mm. at all but my uncle reggie who was one of the ones that would make me learn the songs song, he got yeah. murdered in 2002 so i watched him pass away and then just growing up in the streets of D.C., I was really yeah. active and, you know, seeing a lot of different things. So, you know, you don't realize how the shit affects you until you go through like that mama loss. Like I thought I was prepped for all of that shit. But when my mother right. passed away, I realized, oh, nigga, ain't no way you can prepare for this. Yeah. So I took the time to go to Africa to just sit down and be still and realize the things that I needed to realize to be okay with something I got to deal with for the rest of my life. Because mm -hmm. it's like you got two birthdays. You know, right, you know right, I mean? right, 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 right. The day you're born and the day you lose your mom is like you got to start your whole life over. It's like you're a toddler again. You got to learn how you to walk learn and how to talk. do everything. And yeah. do everything over again because this person who was there with you from the beginning is gone forever now. You'll never see him again. Yeah. So for me, it was just I took the time to go to Africa for that specifically to make sure that I was able to, you know, keep myself together because I had a show in D.C. that I had to postpone because I realized I wasn't ready to go up there and do it without my mama because you know Damn, my mother bro. used to filter a lot of people out like my mother was a gangster so gotcha, she would gotcha. there would be people who wouldn't even say nothing to me about nothing but now since she's gone that all of that is coming to me mm. and it's crazy to see the people that you know are supposed to care are just asking you how you doing to ask you for something right afterwards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and usually you know it don't affect me but now it's like it's you, that, yeah, it's that well, like I, you well, know well, me well, well, well I got you yeah it's, it's yeah. like one of the <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers that uh, be backstage eating lamb chops and <laughs> drinking champagne and be like man I wouldn't have missed it for the world bitch ass nigga yeah, you'd have you, missed it if I didn't <laughs> give you a ticket <laughs> damn it you know what I mean Shit. so so, uh, you know, all of those things are things that I've done. But like I said, I've seen a lot in my lifetime, you know, and, and mm -hmm. a lot of that shit builds up. But yeah. one thing that I've learned in regards to working in mental health is you got to build your bubble. And sometimes it's okay, you got to be OK with telling everybody else to, hey, look, this is my bubble. Whatever you got going yeah. on out there. Keep that shit the fuck over yeah, there. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. I don't care what you got going on. I don't care how you feel about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Like, cause when my uncle passed away, 
after I watched him pass away, I remember walking out of the hospital. I'm feeling every emotion you can feel. I'm mm-hmm. angry. I'm upset. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. I'm everything. And then so I, I walked was, outside. Yeah, so I was my brother. Yeah. I walked outside and saw everything. It was Howard University Hospital in D.C. I walked outside and saw everything was still moving. All right, don't park right there. All right, baby, we're going to lunch. Mm-hmm. All right, mama. And then I'm just like, my whole world is crushed. Crushed. But Stops. the world. It's, it's going to spin whether or not I'm on it or not. And then mm. from that moment, I realized it's my responsibility to make sure my world is intact. Damn. So, I can't even know. Yeah, yeah. That's mm. deep. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, um, that's, and I, you know, I talk to a lot of people. I do go to therapy. That's another thing I recommend, you know, mm-hmm. talk to mm-hmm. somebody else who don't have no dog in the fight in regards to how they feel about whatever it is you got going on. And just be open to talk to yourself for real. Sometimes that's the best yeah. How does that work? How does that work? Like with because I've been really mulling over therapy lately, but it's like when they don't have a dog in the fight and they kind of don't know, because even when I talk to just anybody, it's like if if it's not like a you or a los or anything like that, it's like how the fuck are you even gonna know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean like, you gotta <laughs> find the right person, but it's like this, like it's it's perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Like if I'm talking to you. And I, well, I'm explaining what I see when I'm looking at you from the front and somebody is explaining what they see when they look at you from the back. They're both giving accurate perspectives of what they see, but mm-hmm. it's completely different. Right. So sometimes you have to step outside and look at the whole thing and gotcha, you can't gotcha. do that yourself because you're so involved in whatever it is you got going on. Mm-hmm. So it, when I say therapy, I don't necessarily mean it has to be a professional. It just has to be somebody who you feel comfortable talking to, mm, who you know is mm, not going to be like, mm. yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Right. Need, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whatever man, you I got need. this idea. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. God bless you. But look, them lights, I'm trying to get that shit set up. <laughs> that white cat you got, I got an idea of a chain. <laughs> like, it's just niggas that if you can get yeah. past that, then, you know, mm-hmm. I recommend it all the way. Yeah, how, but that, like, being that you were in the line of work that you were in, is there ever like a, a time that you... Kind of diagnose yourself? Is that yeah, all the time? You all, yeah, like, all the time in the middle of the day, like oh, all the shit, time. Like I'm yeah, this is depressed. this. Yeah, this is this. This is depression. <laughs> this is anxiety. This is all of these different things. And back then, like I started doing this work in '09. Mm. And back then it wasn't as, you know, and it wasn't like it is now where everybody's Especially talking about in the it. black community. No, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you know like, what I mean? You still was like, man. That nigga crazy. Yeah, that nigga, something wrong with that nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And then I, I joke about that on stage. I'm like, you know, these kids now have a different level of pressure than we had. Mm. Like, even I just went back to Fayetteville State and did a program with, uh, with the young black men there because they, you know, they doing... And not as well as they should be doing in comparison to the females. So they did a program mm. to try to get black men to come back and talk about their stories and what they've been through. Yeah. And, you know, I gave them the credit because a lot of older people or people that's outside of their generation looking be like, ah, oh, that shit. But yeah, nah, they under crazy. a different level of pressure. <laughs> when I was in college, I didn't know what the nigga at Fayetteville State with all the holes look like and <laughs> what he was driving. <laughs> I didn't know what that is. Now you got everybody highlight mm-hmm. real. You got to see mm-hmm. from everywhere. So that's a different level of pressure. Yeah. And like back then when I first started doing the work, nobody was even talking about mental health at all. Right, right, So it right. was, but even though they weren't, it gave me an opportunity to really delve into it because nobody really gave a fuck. Everybody mm-hmm. was like, oh, that's what you do? Oh, you work with them crazy niggas. I right, bet. Yeah, that's what it was. And because so, now you can call them living facilities. But back then, it was the crazy house. It was the crazy mm-hmm. house, right. You know what <laughs> I mean? It was the fucking crazy but, house. But you definitely see all of these different, and you see the type of things that cause these flare-ups in people, and you realize mm-hmm. when nobody's immune to it. Not Nobody's person, immune to it. It can happen to anybody Damn. at any time. At like any moment, yeah. you just like you driving around with this wild ass nigga. <laughs> like j- true story. Like if you would have just flipped out and turned around and shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a response. That's a, you know what I mean? You're responding to some shit that is internally within yeah. you that you never addressed, that you never got out, and he just sparked it. It's like, you know what I mean? Somebody saying a, a trigger word and you just yeah. react to it mm-hmm. so all of that is shit that you gotta address you know what I mean but there's like I said these young boys they don't have the the mental ability they they got a different level of pressure like we didn't talk about depression when we was young Not at all. like Not at all. these youngers yeah. is killing themselves 
off the comments mm. and hanging themselves off the comments. First of all, if I'd have tried to hang myself in that apartment I grew up in, <laughs> I'd have tore all the sheet rock out the roof <laughs> in that motherfucker. <laughs> Then I'd have got my ass beat for trying right, to kill and, myself. And, and also tearing up the shit. Yeah, that's exactly. You got your ass beat and had to listen to my mama tell all my baby, you know this dumb ass nigga trying to kill himself in my fucking house. I ain't even gonna be able to go to the Poconos now. I gotta now. take off tonight. I gotta take off. This nigga got a big ass hole in it. Like, so it was it was a different time we came up in. Yeah. So a lot of our shit has been suppressed. So at this point, <laughs> take advantage of the fact that they talking about it now. This yeah, is the time yeah, yeah. to do it. For sure. Because it might in ten years it might go back to the it old might way. Go back. Uh, that it you might, might be just back. be the crazy nigga. And if you're on the dressing when it's cool, then you missed your opportunity. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying. Well, I tell you what, I kind of <laughs> kind of help you with all that shit. <laughs> No, no, call it tricks for baby! Jesus. Chico! <laughs> <laughs> we. Yeah, Chico, it's the Valentine's Day episode. So, okay. Uh, you know. So, no champagne, no wine, no, no champagne. You. Are sober, so and you are a sober person. And then I was asking what kind of like juice you drink, and you said water. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got Goofy you some mom. really fancy water. Really? It's alkaline. Uh-oh, oh, it's it's look at no! It's, it's, <laughs> Sorry, you're pouring it more. <laughs> it's so much. It's pouring out of the bottle. <laughs> it, that's how fancy it is. <laughs> look it at is you done wet up the gas. Goofy mom. Jeez. Just trying to make you wait on Valentine's Day, man. Oh. <laughs> Calls on T-Pain, deck. this is your wife. Man. Full, fully go. Shit is that? Fully go. What is wrong with you, man? Fully resolved. Why would you, why would you say that? No pause, fully resolved. <laughs> <wife. laughs> no pause, no period. Thank you. Thank you. No punctuation. alcohol in it. Mine do? Yes. Ooh. What do you got in there? What mine got in there, motherfucker? your fancy water. That, what is this? <laughs> This it y'all's has alcohol in it and juice. What's up? Yeah, yeah, that's got yeah. Down. Oh, damn. That's really good. Shit, what's in there, babe? <laughs> it has like it's pain. I gotta um, like. Do you have a party city sponsorship? Like, where are you finding? <laughs> where did you get this? It's almost those, like a I purse. Those she stays on the fucking internet and oh, literally Amazon and, packages and order. Yes. Bro, our front door. What the fuck is this? Our front, yeah. good as a uh, our front door is just made of Amazon thing. boxes. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't from Cocaine Amazon, that But she They're stays on party she, place. she stays on the internet <laughs> And every day She thinks about the episodes We have coming up And uh, she orders cups To the specific episodes yes. So this was for The Valentine's Day episode <laughs> Here we are again Got you What's in the drink babe? Uh, Casamigos Fuck uh, <laughs> Mango juice <laughs> I was drinking some Russian fruit juice why are you um, Meyer Sorry. lemonade and then some lemonade soda. Oh yeah. On top of all that. Damn. Yes. This look like a purse. Like one of the young want kids. One or you're sober, yeah, sober. He all the way sober. No, no, no. Are I'm just, no, I'm new. No. He's good. Sober, He's good. No, no, just no, no, don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Don't Alkaline do water. Alkaline water. I'll okay. water. I'll take some of this Dr. Sebi water you got. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still want to name it? <laughs> that Dr. Um, Sebi water. You yeah, got it. Is water or you want to name the, the we're gonna name. Drink? We're going to name the, the, the water. The, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 8569. Oh, 8569. Valentine's Day. 86753. <laughs> Unnasty. That's a hit right there. It's a smash. It's 8569. Guys, you know what's in it? Drink, drink, drink. Sip, sip, sip. Snuff Boy Radio Podcast, we will be... Shut it down! Shut it down. Right back. back! You don't watch the show? You gonna learn something you know one day. Show? I've never seen the show. Okay, okay, Wake okay. Wake up, bitch! Nah, that's no, good. That's no. good. Let's talk about something everybody can relate to. Go ahead and put the kids away because it's about to get spicy. Let's talk about sex, baby. Who wants better sex? I'm sure most... Sure, most people. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, plus free shipping. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life so easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a priority, plus 100% free shipping on your entire order. Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy, all will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. You don't have to sit around waiting. Satisfaction is just around the corner. Add some spice to your life. Do not wait. Better sex is just a click away. That's 50% off one item with free shipping. 
Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom with thousands of products to choose from. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter offer code T-Pain at checkout. That's T-Pain, T-P-A-I-N at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code T-Pain to get your discount plus 100% free shipping. Code T-Pain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Netboy Radio Podcast, Chico B. We're having a good time. <laughs> Alkaline water. Would you like a splash, Fizz? No, this is that the Dr. Sebi water is more than enough for me. I already feel the toxins leaving my body. Oh, yeah. I have already started to feel the toxins. There you go. Good stuff, man. Uh, We've been having a good time up here so far. As long as first uh, segment. That's long as fuck. That's what that long as fuck, but we we was was talking about some important shit. Mm -hmm. Can't cut that off. You don't cut that off. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Mm -hmm. Gave us us some insight, and we learned a lot about you just then. (laughs) Because I didn't know you were in the mental health line of work, and that's a big part of what we do. So I appreciate you helping us. And then. Really hitting us with that. Are these all original beats? Yes. Oh, damn. That's yeah. what Bishop. Man, these God, are all. Damn, Bishop Jones. Uh, yeah, Brian Bishop Jones is the producer for most of these. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the things I stole from y'all because our, our first <laughs> season didn't have music. Uh-huh. And, I, you know, yeah, I stole this from y'all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Start sending some of them Brian Bishop beats over out there. Gotcha. Fuck, since you Come stole on, it. Stones. Get it, get it together him, now. But y'all have a producer on hand. Y'all yeah, have a- we, hey, we, he can take a break. <laughs> 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 Oh, I make it deserve no. a break sometimes too. You know, babe. I made the next one, so I may be able to send y'all something. But uh, right. I'll tell you what, Chico, it is time for your top five. <laughs> What are your top five? The Nappy Boy Radio Podcasts Top Five. All right, Chico, I would I would like to impress you with the fact that we talked about this earlier, but guess what? We didn't. Okay. Um What structure? Y'all got structure on y'all show where y'all got shit together for real? No. Hell nah. Y'all we be just, coming up with just, shit we like just, we right. just go. That's the beauty. Good stuff. That's the that's the structure that there is no structure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, the structure is that there is no structure. We just show up and go. And go. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. It works so well. It does. You know it mean? works really. It works. Well. Really and we well. give people the freedom to do what they want to do. When T Pain came to the show, he ended up saying pussy costs too much over and over again. <laughs> Pussy cost too much. That was pussy cost too much. We should have. We should have. Pussy cost too much. We should have recorded it. Pussy cost. It's recorded. It's a smash. It's, it's, it's a smash. recorded. No, I'm saying like audio. We should have. We should have made, made it a red. Yeah, we got to do that. See, that that comes with the structure. So we <laughs> need to get a little bit better ourselves. We need to tighten our own operation. Gotta be ready. Up. For that. You gotta be ready. <laughs> oh man. So we, we we give everybody their own top five. Okay. I feel like Pip has one for you. What? But, okay, maybe not. Allison, did you think of one? Of course not. Okay. Oh. Who? <laughs> that cocaine, man. What? <laughs> Chico Bean, what are your top five worst hairlines? I did this already. You got to ask me something else. You did this already? I did it, yeah, for the, the show I'm on on Comedy Central with Charlemagne the God. I already did it. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. Wait, the hell of a week. Yep. Damn. Yep, Shout out, Charlie man. Already, so you gotta add something else. What are your top five <laughs> podcasts? Oh shit! Eighty five <laughs> South Show. Okay, I'll um, take that. Uh, a Nappy Boy Radio podcast. Come on there now. It is. I like that. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Is it going too fast? Is it going too fast? Uh, let me think. Uh, poor minds. Poor man. Oh yeah. Damn. Just a, just a poor man. This was a stupid question. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna name all the shit we got. Um, uh, what else? Let me get somebody else one. Um, let me think. Let me think. Uh, shit. How did the poor minds thing come together? Uh, Ryan. Fucking Ryan. God damn it. <laughs> You gotta give him some credit since he's here. I mean, that ain't, that ain't really the real reason, but since he's here, I'm gonna let him have it today. Uh, let me see. Uh, I, I say, uh, 
Drink Champs. Okay. And yeah, million yeah. dollars worth of game. And million dollars worth of game. Give it up. Nice. Mm. Drink Champs is fire. It yeah, is. Drink Champs. Million dollars worth of game. I love Gilly and Wallow, man. Them, them some good yeah, dudes. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Just genuine dudes, man. Like, you know, when you, you, you meet a lot of people in this industry, man, and yeah. you realize that man, these niggas is... I wanna, Flawed. I wanna, I wanna. Flawed is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah, there's, there's a lot of these dudes is, 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 yeah. They, Nori, they that, they that. It's Nori just, just went on this, on this rant about old rappers trying to do podcasts. And it was, it was kind of mean. It was a little mean. I mean, yeah, you ain't no rapper. Mean, because, because he was one of, he's one of the, him and Joe Button. Joe Button really is the, is the, in my opinion, yeah, he's, kinda he's the father it yeah, of he it. Like, it off. if you look back at Joe Button, Joe Button was yeah. doing this shit on YouTube way before. Yeah. I mean, as far as just walking around with a camera, like he had been, yeah. he was a he a pioneer, and especially in the podcast, I would give it to him, and um, probably uh, Tax Stone. You know what Tax I mean? Tax Stone. Tax Stone back yeah. in the day. Tax Stone was one of the first. With a podcast, podcast that that really set the the yeah. narrative for what it is that you see everybody doing now on our side. On I the hope urban somebody side. like talk shit to him and like tried to say he was like washed up or something. And then that's why he went on the tangent. I hope he just wasn't being a dick to everybody that's trying to do podcast. Right now. Uh, you, well, I mean, <laughs> out there, I just wanted to, I just, this is I just the therapy to be that you need to have, T Pain. <laughs> I just wanted you gotta to say how it make you feel because you're not a washed up rapper, but did no. it make you feel like you were when he said that shit? Not at all. I just don't want him to be the guy that that, that you that, have that. to respond to. Yeah, I got no, you. No, 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 no. I don't want him to be that kind of guy because he's like successful, and I feel like once you reach a level of success, especially the kind that he has. I don't feel like you have to pay attention to that shit. Enough. But you brought it up. You have to yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying him. I'm saying Nori. Like I haven't heard the rant, but you know it is a lot of you know monkey see monkey do shit going on. Yeah, now. nah, for sure. And quality is 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 much more important than quantity. So Definitely. I think that people need to take the time to put some, especially if you're a rapper that didn't. That didn't have the quality already. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. nigga, it ain't no yeah. excuse for your shit to be subpar. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> right. where yeah. the lights and the white yeah. cats, and <laughs> <laughs> the heart shaped <laughs> Doctor Sebi water holders, and <laughs> random niggas around, <laughs> <laughs> extra chairs and videos and yeah. cocaine, yeah. reform yeah. cocaine addicts. And <laughs> reform. This is how you set up some shit when you've been successful. You gotta utilize your, you gotta use your assets, man. You know, use your resources to make your shit look good. Oh, shit. So nah, I, it was funny. I well, here's the way the way he kicked it off. He was like, uh, "It's fun to see niggas fail," <laughs> and I was like, "That's not." Oh, uh, that's you know, and you gotta give it. He's a New York nigga too. They different. Yeah, no, no, they different. They different. They different. They different. Yeah, yeah. Well, two New York niggas at the same. Oh, it's New York, New Jersey, yeah, which is worse. It's the same thing. <laughs> that's the same place. It's the same place. <laughs> and I gotta give. A, I'll give a, 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 a honorable, honorable mention. mention <laughs> a honorable mention to um, what's my man's name? Um, God damn, I'm having a brain fart. No, you good. That's uh, that hold on, hold on, hold on. You got. To- what I do on my phone? Where is your phone? God Uh-oh. damn it. See, I knew you shouldn't have snuck that pocket, shit. Inside pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, don't worry about it's it. It's all right. Yeah. Um, Fuck that nigga, whoever it was. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Right. It, was, it, was, it was my white man podcast. I can't think of his name right now because there's too many black people in here. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> just know I was thinking about you in spirit, my white man podcast. Adam. Huh? Adam Adam 20 I don't really consider that a podcast I mean I watch them You know I mean I wouldn't consider that a podcast though. That's more like You know they more networking okay. What they doing They okay. more like a network You know with yeah. Adam 22 and them Vlad but, uh, <laughs> That's what oh, I fuck with Vlad I watch a lot of Vlad I, You know Vlad I wouldn't consider a podcast That's more you know, a podcast is what I, you Those know, full think, on interviews, full on interviews yeah. with you, you know, or just somebody just talking. You know, what I mean, this right, one right, is, gotcha, gotcha, it, gotcha. Uh, God damn it, I almost had it. Uh, shit, damn it, it's over. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm huh? a, it, I, listen, coming? listen, it's, it's gonna come to me. There it is. It's, it's almost there. You got, He's. You a, gotta uh, fuck that pussy right now. Get it. 
gone. Hey, that's never mind. It's gone now. <laughs> okay, all you right. You ruined well. it. That was he goes top five. He fucked it up. He fucked it up. Hey, with an honorable extra. mention that we can't that remember. That we can't right remember. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> At any time, if you remember, just it's bark, gonna just, come to just, me. Just, just, it's just, gonna come to me. All right, cool. Well, that's what it is. Uh, that was the top five, and this is Nat Boy Radio Podcast. We will be shut it down, shut it down. right back. back. We didn't get anything from at all. This nigga is trash. You know, you got to say that with us. What? Okay. Right back. There's no way around it, guys. Credit scores are boring as hell. Even so, they determine whether you get a sick credit card or a good loan for a new house, and even if you qualify for a new apartment or not. So what does that mean? It means give yourself a boost in life and let Kickoff help you with your credit. Kickoff is the easiest way to build credit fast. Whether you have no credit or you want to boost your score that you got right now, Kickoff is the number one credit building app that has helped over a million people take control of their credit. You can apply in minutes with no credit check, no hidden fees, and no interest. Plans start at just $5 a month, and every one time payment you make with kickoff is reported to the major credit bureaus when they see healthy habits you see happier credit score you can even set it to auto pay so you can build credit without even thinking about it and for five bucks it doesn't get much easier than that it's time to take control of your credit so it can't control you so what are you waiting for apply right now in minutes at kickoff.com to start building better credit that's k-i-k-o-f-f.com to build your credit score without the lift start today at kickoff.com on today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up. That's fucked up. Uh, Chico. Yeah. What's fucked up? What's fucked up? Yeah. The fact that my man offered me some cocaine and didn't even <laughs> like, Damn it, inquire about whether or not I was on it. You like, know what's fucked, fucked up, up though? <laughs> How he ain't drinking or did none of the shit that I offered him and still lost his phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I didn't lose my yeah. phone. I just left my phone because yeah. T Pain has a very welcoming place that he has. It. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's too much nice shit in here for a nigga to want a phone. Like if, <laughs> if you had a point with stealing phones, you re- you on crack, <laughs> <from the cocaine. laughs> And I don't. I looked around and there's no crackheads there's here. No coke, crack. There's no crack. Coke, coke is a little different. Coke crack, and crack no, two different things. Crack two different things. Two different things. Two different things. Also, guys, it was Bill Burr. It was Bill Burr's podcast, you know, so it's a couple of them, you know, Brilliant Idiots with Charlemagne and Shorts and yep, Bill yep, Burr yep. and all of those guys. So, salute. Salute. Absolutely. Um, You know what's fucked up? And I just, like, got to a size that I'm cool with, like, wearing skinny jeans, and now skinny jeans are... Going out. Yeah. This, I don't like it. Are they? Like it. That's yeah. what I'm talking Baggy about. Jeans, Baggy Everything jeans is are coming back. Yeah, it's coming. Oversized is coming back. 90s, 90s fashion is on its way back in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I got a pair of jeans on now. I like to call them my uncircumcised jeans. Oh, what? I see them at the bottom. They got the motherfucking. <laughs> Yeah, they got oh, no. the, yeah, the, the flare, flare. Yeah, flare on the bottom no. of them. Yeah. Oh, wow. So those okay. are coming yeah. back in, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I say probably within the next year and a half, the skinny jeans will be it's all gone. the way out. Yeah, Thank they won't God. be selling them no more. Thank God. I'm tired of looking at niggas. That's all you can wear. I'm, uh, yo, I mean, yo, you know you're not forced, forced. I'm just saying. You're not just, forced to look at niggas no matter what they have on. All I'm saying is when I... Your man just said he tired of looking at niggas. You never had to I'm look at them. I'm just saying, when you turn around, you got to <laughs> You never sure, had sure, to look sure, at sure, them. Sure, 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 oh, sure, sure. All right. That was, that was always mm-hmm. a lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> sure, 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 yeah, sure, nobody's sure. making you do that, Pip. I think that's, that's well, something else. It's still me? I mean, that was a pretty devastating thing to find out. You've just been looking at niggas this long. Mm. Which is a lot. Look, man, we accept you how you are. You don't have to, you know what I mean? You acting up in front of your little friend, ain't it? Well, I got to be the little friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was the nigga you wanted to snort coke with when I got here. Now I'm the little friend because I don't fuck with you. I just wanted to make sure you was good. You know what I'm saying? I was now checking you, on you, now bro. Now you want to downplay a nigga because you looking at niggas and snorting cocaine. I won't, I won't check. I won't check. I and now I'm gonna be the little friend. I right, see, bring you. You know what? You this who you bring around you? Didn't bring me around this nigga. I ain't even. <laughs> I came to see you. Real. I thought I'd in the the clips that I seen. It's just this. Wow. I ain't never seen this nigga. Oh, you ain't never put him on the YouTube. You must have got a. Did you get a text from Vanessa? <laughs> yeah, man, Damn, you gotta man. start showing my man more so we can make better decisions as to whether or not we want to come over. Here. <laughs> I'm just saying, you false what, advertising. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. You did good. You yeah, did man. Good. This nigga fire. cool, though, man. I like Slip, man. 
<laughs> life Slim. The Slim is the life of the party. I can tell why you got him around. Oh, you know, man. Keep your shit entertaining there around you here. You know, he also has an anger problem, though. So sometimes it can, it can turn so the other bad. way. Yeah, it so can turn bad. the other way. It's not It's not always good. I only say things a certain type of way, and when I say it, they think that, that you're I, being aggressive. Yeah, I'm, I don't. Yeah, like like a, I just said, I don't. They'll be like, pill. Oh my god! I don't. I don't really. That's really you. Complete that strangers not. come up to me like, not. "What's wrong with your dude? Like, what's going on with your man? Who did that? That Shh. that. Shh. Shut your mouth. You just asked. It's mostly true. I didn't ask you that. It's mostly true. Oh fuck! That nigga just did a <laughs> scene from Fences in this motherfucker. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Hush your mouth. Don't you oh say god. another word to me. <laughs> The fuck is up, man? <laughs> so you yeah. don't think you're aggressive, Pip? You don't think you're aggressive at all? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. Really? That's crazy. That's wild. That's I know. insane. That's when a girl really be wild. like, "Who is this nigga? What do you mean? Cause man. you kind of like you can walk in a room and not say a word, but just like your mannerisms on your face is just like it's, <laughs> this nigga's mad at something. And he's yeah, because I already know what's going on when I walk in that room. See, I you know don't though. I you do. don't. You make it up, and then you try to you you try to put that on everybody else. Okay. Let's, let's may we go to therapy together. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should all go. <laughs> Why? So you can bring up the backpack. Oh, man. what happened with the backpack? This nigga left. My whole I did not on a plane. <laughs> that was not a reason to explain what the fuck was going on. That was just a reason to be like, uh yeah, like and then go on to the next you know thing. To explain to the nigga what the fuck. You left your backpack on the plane. Yep. That what he, he used did. to be the used to be my assistant. And she's my assistant now, so this is already He this used is, to be I, your assistant. Yeah. When uh, I started on the job, Piv was like, There's there's a time <laughs> that I left. His backpack, I, but, but but I didn't do it. Who said that? I didn't do it. Though. Who said that? I didn't do it. Who said that? You said that. He left I his bag. I never said that. And then yeah. blame it on me. So make sure, make sure every time you leave, grab that. Grab bag. that bag. Okay. He said I blamed it. I on didn't him. leave it. He said he said he didn't leave it, but I blamed it on him. He was in charge of making sure all my stuff got back to you. What? At one point. The fuck kind so, of shit is this? So yeah, I mean, because we know what a, a fucking assistant is, is is supposed to do. So, uh. I do cocaine. I don't know what it is. <laughs> He's admitted it. Here's the thing. I left the bag on the plane. But he was supposed to make sure I got my bag. Right. I was hungover. We was in like Africa or some shit. I left the bag on the plane. Under Nigga, the seat. you left his shit on a plane in, in Africa? Africa? I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> it was gone. I knew that was coming. Bro, yeah, what that, type that, of shit is wrong with you, bro? Oh you, did you get God. the bag back? Nothing. Two I'm laptops, sh- jewelry. Two. Oh, they, oh it's around. a nigga right in the heat, and boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you don't even know it's a nigga in Tanzania right now been signing the nappy boy since then. <laughs> nappy boy to that cuts. <laughs> Nappy boy. <laughs> Nappy boy. <laughs> nigga got all your beats and everything. It's a nigga platinum right now <laughs> in Tanzania. <laughs> Off your backpack, Slim. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, no, my God. It's a nigga in Liberia right now that is on the African charts oh. of all your old music. Oh, Nappy God. boy records. <laughs> It's okay, Pip. It's okay. Oh, it's right. man. Right, hold the chain up, nigga. Nappy nah. boy. <laughs> nah, it was serious, man. It's going to fuck you up when he come over here. Right. It's going to be him gonna be featuring big. Burner Boy. He's going to be big. He's huge. Over it's there right now. like, wait a minute. T-Pain going to be like, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute, nigga. But you know what, though? No, <laughs> but, but the good thing about it is. Then this nigga going to come back. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! There's a character, oh, man. Man, you did it. You did it. Well, guys, that's what's fucked up. Uh, Pip. Pip Damn. Up. Pip. Pip is what's fucked up. We made a decision. I that's just. It's too late. We we all came to that conclusion. Pip is fucked up. Uh, it's an Boy Radio podcast. We will be shut it down. To go right, right back. There I it got is. it that time. Yeah, I mean, did it. it but did Pip a little didn't do bit, it. but because I was trying to see if your boy was on there. Watch your song. Guys, go pre-order my new book. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. You know what I had to fight for in this fucking book? And I'm so glad that I that I held my ground on this. Because it was just going to be a, a normal joint. See how that looks? Now, what you can't tell is that all the pages 
are black. We go running. Look at that. I'm so glad I held my foot on this. Look at that. Oh, all the play, all the pages are black. It's gorgeous. I put my book in dark mode for y'all. You see what I did? Now, if that, now if that don't deserve a pre-order, I, I put my book in dark mode for everybody. <laughs> if y'all could just go pre-order this, make this a bestseller, man. I want to have a bestseller. And it's not something that you necessarily have to read. I gave two of these to my kids today. And, and my daughter was like, I don't drink, but I'll take one. I know you don't drink. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Netboy Radio Podcast. Chico B. It's an amazing effect you have on your microphone there, sir. I got a lot going you on. You are one of the best ever at bit. You, you know you changed the sound of music, man. I have been told that, yes. Yeah, you have. You, 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 I mean, I've heard once you twice. definitely have changed the sound of music. Now, I really want to hear what that nigga in Tanzania sound like. <laughs> I know his shit. Jamming, nigga. He had that T Pain pack, boy. Ain't no telling what type of music Chico, that nigga did put Chico, out. Chico, Chico, chill out. I'm just saying, bro. We don't, we don't need it. We don't you really need it. I mean, that was the last. That was the last one. I'm just saying. I know thing. that nigga is. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that no more. Two laptops <laughs> full of tea paper. You changed the sound of music <laughs> in America. You know what that shit did to that? Because when they heard it, they was like, "Oh my God, what is this? What is this?" That nigga was like, "Nappy boy." <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting on the text to say, you know your contract about to be over. Right? Oh, my God. Oh my God. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. God yeah. damn, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Diego. We've come to a part of the show that we call mm. Gun to Your Head. Ooh. Very ominous. Very ominous. It's Fuck not going to be my favorite. Wow. Hmm? Gun to your head. I don't think it's gonna be like. I think he's just he's just good. good. Wow. He's, he's got already, this, no, is gonna be, this is best. No, part. he's just this, gonna be his best part right he's here. Gonna be really he's gonna be really fucking good at this. He's gonna be really fucking good at this. And I don't even like him. Yep. <laughs> don't do that. Jeez, I'm just saying. Right. I'm glad you don't like me, nigga. <laughs> you such a boy. I see how you treat the niggas you do like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight on you, Slim. That's cool with me. I am in a good position to be a nigga you don't like. Thank God. Because the nigga you like, whoa. You're right. Exactly. That's what I be trying to tell people. But um, so, Chico, uh, here's a scenario, man. You're, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the Valentine's Day episode. Mm -hmm. um, you're tied up in a chair. Okay. You're a kidnapper and possible killer because it's, you know, thin line right there. Okay. Uh, he goes, look, I'll let you go right now. Uh-huh. But since it's the Valentine's Day show, <laughs> the only way I'm going to let you go is if you sing a love song <laughs> front to back, no fuck ups, and then you can go. You fuck up, gun to your head. <laughs> What's the song you pick? Early in the morning, I put breakfast on your table what was the name of that? <laughs> and make sure that your coffee what was the, what was the name has what was the name sugar and cream. What? I knew that. Your <laughs> eggs are over ah, easy. Damn, nigga. Hold your on. toast done lightly. Don't do Karen. That. All that's missing is okay. your here's, morning here's the thing. Here's the, here's the, kiss okay. that it hey. used to. Hey. Shut the fuck up. I hey. might oh, die, nigga. Oh, hey, hold on. I'm about to die, nigga. You gotta take the headphones off. Take the headphones off. You gotta take the headphones off. Can you, can you see? Like, yeah. do you wear glasses? Are no, those no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Fashion. Just a, just a lot of face. Um... I know it's hard to see because it's in the middle of the thing. You see that blue X right there? Yeah. Okay. Need you to go over there. Take the switch. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. <clears throat> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this, is, this was posted two years ago. That nigga put his foot right there. It's not a recent, right not a recent thing. Here we go. Get him now. <laughs> right here. You got it? You on the joint? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chico Beans. <laughs> Chico Beans. Look at that foot. Yeah. Foot yeah, your mic is on. This is Chico Beans singing. It's the Mighty Nappy Boy. Oh, yeah. Radio. Oh, you ready to go? Let's do it, goddammit. 
Early in the morning, I put <laughs> breakfast on your table. Yeah! And make sure that your coffee has its sugar and cream. Yeah, that's really bad. Your eggs are over easy. <laughs> your toast done lightly. All that's missing is your morning kiss that used to greet me. I feel like we're off. Now you say the juice is sour. <laughs> we, we are, wait, you wait. fucked up the beat, and I can't <laughs> help we're going but back. We're going to wonder we're going back. if you're we're going sabotaging back. We're going back. me. We're going back. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. You're supposed to be cool. I was. You I was. I was. Lame. You is a shame. <laughs> you probably also do cocaine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chico B singing. The Nappy Boy Radio Song of the Week. Yeah, the, the week. beat is the beat. I really don't need the beat. One, you, you need two, it. Two, you need it. Here we three, go. Four. Hey. Early in the morning. Oh, oh wait, I don't think. Early in the morning, I put breakfast on your table. Now we're talking, Ashley. Let's go. And make sure that your coffee has its sugar and cream. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Your eggs are over easy. Mm-hmm. Your toast done lightly. <laughs> All that's missing is your morning kiss that used to greet me. Come on now. Now you say the juice is sour. When it used to be so sweet And I, I, I can't help but to wonder if you're talking about me We don't talk the way we used to talk It's hurting so deep I've got my pride, I will not cry But it's making me weak I'm not your superwoman that was a long ass verse. Yeah. <laughs> that verse was long as shit. Yeah. I'm not the kind of girl that you can let down and think that everything's okay. Boy, I am only human. This girl needs more than occasional hugs as a token of love from you to me. Ooh, baby. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Really good, man. I fought <laughs> my way through the rush hour just to make it home just for you. Come on. I want to make sure that your dinner will be waiting for you. But when you get there, you just tell me you're not hungry at all. You say you rather read the paper and you don't want to talk. Damn, this dude's a piece of you shit. Like to right. <laughs> that I'm just crazy when I say that you've changed. I'm convinced I know the problem. You don't love me the same. You're just going through the motions and you're not being fair. I've got my pride, I will not cry. Still, I can't help but care. <laughs> Remix, 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 remix. Girl, I am only human. <laughs> Niggas on cocaine. <laughs> Sign a contract, man. Ooh, we, oh, ooh, we. Nappy boy, ready. Yo, ain't on TV, but it will be one day. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah get oh, ooh, there. baby, baby, baby. remix, remix. That's how it's done, baby. That's how you yeah. do it. You did, yeah. you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Live? You live. You live. You did the whole thing. You even added words. Yeah, Not I only live. did you get the words that were there, you added some on your own. And I think that's worthy <laughs> yeah. of a goddamn clap it up, guys. Oh, and I'm going to yeah. tell you why I picked that song. Uh, no. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I picked that song. Watch me, song. <laughs> because that 
is my mother's favorite song. That's nice. fucking fine. Aww. Give it up. Shout that out. is my mother's favorite song. I played that song. That was playing at her funeral. That's and fine. And I, I used to do a joke in front of my mother. When uh when she would come to my shows and I would always say when I was young I would always know when a nigga would break up with my mama because <laughs> I would because I would wake up and smell cleaning products and hear this song. Play. <laughs> so that's, that's how I know all the words man. to the song. I, I like that segment, man. Yeah, that's a fun that's, segment. That's that's I appreciate that's it, man. That's a fun you segment, right there. And, we, and that's, that's I love that, man. I that love that. Fun, man. Right you there. killed it. That's that fun, right beautiful. there, man. I'm glad like we can that. do that. That was dope as hell, man. I like, I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was fucking dope, man. That was Nat Boy Radio Song of the Week. That was Chico being yeah. singing Super And then it's, it's Valentine's Day, so a lot of women are going to be feeling like this on this day. Absolutely. Some, unfortunately. Absolutely. A lot so of people, I did that for the ladies, baby. If, that, if, that, if he don't do you right, play this right here to make you Absolutely. feel like fuck him on the 15th. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, um, I, I, I had not read the, the lyrics of this song. Man, it's a cold song. This so dude is a awful. piece of shit. You know who wrote this song? <laughs> Prince? I, I, I had a joke for that, but it's... I mean, you do I don't want to get canceled. You Let's should, go. Oh, what else we got? No, I mean, well, that would have been a good guess. <laughs> you don't even have to say it, but I, that would have been a good guess. That would have been a great guess, because he wrote, wrote a lot of Babyface. Okay. Oh, God damn. That, that sounds like Babyface. Babyface is the great... Ba- Babyface, man. <laughs> He's so I, good. I, And I'm going to say it, because I know you just didn't want to say it, but <laughs> I'm going to say it. <laughs> the greatest R&B, some of the greatest R&B writers yeah. of all time is Babyface. Mm-hmm. Smokey Robinson, mm-hmm. R. Kelly. Thank you. You better have said that shit. I'm gonna hit you. R. Kelly. You better have that. You, you better. And that's why I don't understand what people. You know, people have a, a warped idea of canceling R. Kelly because yeah. it's stupid. If you're gonna cancel him, do you also cancel Whitney Houston and yeah, Maxwell yeah, and a lot or every, of everybody people that he's written wrote for? So yeah. you know what I mean. And uh, T. Pain as well. Because, yeah, uh, no, you gotta cancel all of us. Yeah, because <laughs> he he was uh, he was in love with a stripper. I just want to put it out there. I didn't see anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We would definitely I, yeah, I wouldn't put that on you. But I didn't I'm just know. Saying, I, didn't, I didn't know. Music. I, I say all the time. R. Kelly did is the artist. Robert did all that shit that yeah. he got yeah, in trouble. Right. For. Exactly. Robert. Yeah, Kelly. it was Robert that mm-hmm. went to trial. R. Kelly is just who I listen to. So nice. you go. that was a good thing. Uh, fuck sometimes. you, nigga. Don't be my friend now. <laughs> I think I forgot you just said you ain't like me, nigga. We good. See? I'm not trying to bond with you, nigga. <laughs> Fuck around and leave my bag on the plane. You gotta get Man, nigga, doing good. my jokes in motherfucking Liberia, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, they made it off me. That's what happens, Pip. You gotta, you gotta step lightly, man. Eggshells, Pip. Eggshells. I keep telling you that. too much. I can't even remember on But that was that boy radio song of the week. Chico Bean singing Superwoman. This is that boy radio podcast. We will be shut it down right back. Damn, you did that, motherfucker. Yeah, I got it that time. I'm with it. Real nice. It was actually really good. You a man? Next level T Pain gamer shot. Winner's juice. Maybe the best shot ever. I've never heard it. I can play it. Everyone says. This is the best shot I've ever had in my life. I've had many shots. A lot of people have had many shots. I don't know, folks. You can ask them yourself. I'm telling you right now, people. Listen to what I'm saying. This is the best shot ever. Maybe even the best shot I've ever had in my life. Every time I have the shot, my energy goes through the roof. And you can ask people. People always come up to me and they say, Your energy shot is so good. Energy through the roof. Tremendous energy. I'm telling you now, people. What? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? <laughs> That's his man. Oh, man. Oh, Somebody Rion? say something. Was Rion back there <laughs> fucking coughing? Coughing. Can't, can't keep his bodily functions. Uh, under, under, hey, man, you under know control. you got Hey, man, don't be embarrassing us in front of the coke addicts, man. <laughs> <laughs> type of shit as you are. You gonna cough in front of a nigga? You gonna let a nigga that do cocaine chastise you? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, Ryan? <laughs> it's always me, bro. You can't, I bet you ain't do this shit when Los and them was here. <laughs> you gonna come and embarrass me in front of the coke man, Slim? Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Work for me, goddammit. You yeah. come in and burn me like this. <laughs> Yeah, he that's didn't do guy, that shit man. at all with Lowe's. That's no, my guy. That's my it. guy, Ryan, man. Luckily. Ryan's a very unique. We have a very unique relationship, man. This dude has been 
You know what? He's kind of like what he was to you as an assistant to me. <laughs> if I can explain it in any way. That was, like that this was, nigga, the dynamic. Get, the dynamic. I'll get, I'll right. get places, and it, but nigga, I won't have no hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. I have the food be fucked up. I'm allergic to nuts. This nigga had me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'll be like, Ryan, bro, who sent you, my nigga? <laughs> Like, who sent you, bro? Like, for real. What did I do to you? What did I do? What did I do to deserve uh, this, man? <laughs> and he's always so sincere, man. I'm so sorry, man. Uh, I just, Ryan's I a good dude, anything, man. man. But he's always sincere. That's my, that's my guy, man. Ryan's a good Ryan's dude, Ryan's a man. good motherfucking dude. Shout All out the to way. Ryan, man. to Ryan, man. Oh, get Ryan a fucking losses, though. Um, So, Chico Bean. Yes, sir. Welcome to... Trap Spelling B. Trap Spelling B. Put your goddamn phone down. Yeah. <laughs> Cheating already. Yeah. Who the hell? Who the hell? Now who the hell? Who the hell? Now who the hell? Taught you how to spell. Oh yeah. Who the hell? Who the hell? Who the hell? Taught you how to spell. Now, Chico B. Welcome to the Trap Spelling B. <laughs> 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 and cocaine do you right, ain't you gotta, you gotta stop playing with you gotta, it. Happening. You gotta watch the show. Bro, you Ryan, gotta, we, bro, we got some work to do, man. <laughs> nigga, these niggas is over here running it up with our ideas, <laughs> man. <laughs> what idea is this, Ryan? What did we do? <laughs> Bro, this nigga still hey. a lot of shit doing it better than us. Where the hell? What the hell? Yeah. Where the hell? Don't you have to spill? Oh, oh, yeah. We ain't got none of that uh, shit, bro. Just, hey, bro oh, nah. shit. We don't have the new box. We got uh, the new box. Who got the new box? The new box. Who got the new box? Is that a new box? Yeah, it is. It is a new box. You want me to pick from the new box? No, no, uh, but we did, we did. So we just started playing this game. Uh, we ordered this game because we wanted to play games on the podcast. But we started fucking around with this one more, and the shit just blew up. So they made okay. us like our own version of the game. And oh, that's right. dope. Now, yeah, you know. Well, there it is. That's dope, man. You can have this one. Don't open it yet, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to. <laughs> so yeah, and it's got the little got a little saying on the on, on the shit that we that we just did. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty funny. We got dope. we got a game. Yeah, we got a game. We got a game. So, you know, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, y'all can check. We it out. got a game. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Read that shit now. Right? So fuck? Chico Bean, I'm sure you've seen the spelling bee before. This yes, is pretty I've been much, in a few. This is you've been in you've been yes, in spelling bee. I've been in the spelling bee. Shit. Actually, I, well, we'll talk about it after. I tell no, you some cool. A, a time I for tell it. you some cool <laughs> shit that I did when I was in elementary school. They had an African American history bee, like where they would what? ask you questions about African American history, wow. historical figures, and things like that, and you had to come up and answer the question. And I won at my school. African American history. Give it I, up lost, nice. I lost. I lost to the next round. <laughs> I lost to the next round. Them niggas was good. We gotta start bringing that back. We gotta bring yeah, that back. Listen, th- this February, man, when you you should do one where you ask yep. somebody Black history facts and see if they know Black history. You know Not gonna lie to you, man. I don't, know if, don't know, if, I don't know if we I shoot any more you. episodes after this. Yep. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> got enough time for this shit. I feel you. All right. Yeah, so, but, um, look, man, it's all the same rules as a regular spelling bee. Now, you can ask for a definition. You can ask for a place of origin. Use it in a sentence. In some cases, use it in a song lyric. Okay. Uh, what you do have for every word is a lifeline. The okay. lifeline in every case is only this couch. <laughs> <laughs> man, you got Harry Potter. Like, come on, man. <laughs> hey, man, I got to ask my man. You see, I. Uh, <laughs> this nigga flew here on a broom, nigga. <laughs> All right, man, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Let's go. Like I said, you can ask for the definition, place of origin, use it in a sentence, use it in a song, and your lifeline. Okay. Uh, now, in order to lock this in, you gotta say the word, spell the word, say the word. You've been in a spell yes. bee. Yeah, this yes. is how this works. Okay. Uh, before we get started, we need to know who the hell mm. taught you how to spell. Who taught me how to spell? The DC public school system. And Oof. that should let you know all you this need is, to know yes. about how I'm about to do in this <laughs> Not game. Not gonna go well. <laughs> all right. Well, Salute that's what we represent today. Columbia. Are you ready for the trap spelling bee? Yes. Chico Bean, spell. Ya did I mean? Ya did I mean? Why 
Right a forward, too. Mm. Not going to ask nothing, huh? Just D- go Okay. D A M E A N. Y'all, did I mean? Mm. Say it one more time. Y A D A D A M E A N. Y'all, did I mean? Wow, that didn't even went straight for the gusto with that motherfucker. Chris Holly, I got a lot. Did forget. Nice. Good. good job. Good uh, job. I ain't feeling this shit. All right. He said he it wrong got, the first time. He got the first one. He gave him the second chance. Yeah, he said it wrong. He said it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, that was so right. Y a d a d a m e a n. Very good. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty pretty solid. That's too solid. Solid yeah. approach. Salute to my, all my all my all my niggas from the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Oh mama, nigga. <laughs> niggas hella weird, nigga. <laughs> nigga, niggas hella weird, nigga. Hella weird, on nigga. Mama's, nigga on see this, nigga. See them. On kick them, nigga. All right. Okay. You got the first one. Let's see if I can mix these up a little bit. Yeah, because this is not, I don't, I don't like the way he did that. That nigga went for the gusto oh for the straight God, photo. We got to change this one. We can't have this one in there. Cancel it immediately. Let's, let's. God damn. Word of origin, Chico Bean. Put right. that back. God damn. All right. <laughs> All right. You ready for your next word? Yes, sir. Chico Bean spell. Yick it. Yick it. <laughs> Y-I-C-K-I-E. Yick it. Locked it. Locked it. Trash. Mm. Come on. Oh, uh, what? Well, okay. Correct Yick spelling it. of it. Yick it is uh, Y I K I. Oh, that's Yick it. it. Oh, I put, a, I put the C in there. You did it. You did a lot. You did a lot. You don't want to separate those. One of those you got right, one of those you got wrong. Uh, I don't want you to see your failure. All right. All right. <laughs> But why words? That's that Yikai. I don't give a fuck what you niggas are. That is Yikai. <laughs> niggas is making up shit over here. Yiki. That's Yikai. <laughs> That's Yikai. No fucking Yiki. It's Yiki. It's, it's the Blicky. It's the Blicky motherfucker. Blick it. Get the goddamn Blick it. Blick it. Blick it. Blick it. All right. Come All right. on. What's the next? Next word. Chico Bean spell. Now. Nim. Now. 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 N E O W Neil. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> he don't yeah. want no help. He don't want no explanation. Yeah, he don't, don't want none of that shit. He don't want none of that shit. Mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're wasting yeah, yeah. all of my time. <laughs> you made me the first person. person. That's what his cat said to me when I walked in the house. N E O W. Good stuff. I fuck with it. All right. You ready for your next word? Yes, sir. She gonna be in spell. You heard me. You heard me? Y A H E A R D M E. You heard me? Trash. Okay, so. <laughs> Since you want to go so goddamn fast, go so we're going like, to go, we go, we go, get you the fuck out of here. That's what I'm doing, nigga. You heard me? Mm. You got hold on, water, hold on, water, you heard me? You, you got, got me fucked up, up Playboy. <laughs> wow, you got me fucked up, Playboy. I know I said that right, Playboy. Now, the correct spelling is Y A H U R R D. M E. There you go, sir. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no New Orleans nigga ever spelled you heard me I like that. I think anybody's been required to actually spell Man, that white that. man made these cards, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's why you giving him the lifeline. It's been, he, it's been confirmed. That sounds like some shit a white person would say at a company. We spell also, you heard me. <laughs> it's we've Y A H U R D. We've also had this question. Um, R R two R's, my nigga. You yes, heard me. <laughs> Yeah. We had the same question. It's been Man, confirmed. Right. It's been confirmed that a black guy made and curated this game. Well, who was he raised with? That don't mean it is a. Yeah, that's salute to the brother for making the game. I want you to win, but hey, man, ask, <laughs> ask my New Orleans Come niggas how you spell Come your to hurt. the hood first before that you start That is a New Orleans shit. term. Let me see. New Orleans, you yeah. got that right. <laughs> Get your mind right, you heard me. That ain't not good. Listen, I don't, got him in Houston, yes. Virginia, New Orleans, you heard me. T.I. Le- First of all, you, you use the T.I. lyric. Yeah, for a New Orleans For word. a New Orleans reference point. <laughs> Do you know how many niggas in New Orleans that got classic records say you heard me that you could have used, sir? That's true, Mike. Come on, man. Right. We don't know if his name is Mike, but we keep calling him. Nah. All right, here we go. All right, what's you ready for your last word? Yes, sir. Check out being spell. Rockwiler. Rockwiler. <laughs> Rockwiler. 
See, I, I feel like this is a trick one because I know the dog Rockweiler <laughs> is a Rockweiler. But the producer Rockweiler. It's a lot happening. Is R O C W I L D E R. You don't want any help. No couch, no, no origin. No. Nothing. <laughs> All right. After I seen that you heard me one, I don't give a fuck with his. <laughs> Whatever his origin and all that, that bit <laughs> is off key. It's off point. So I don't want it. No. If I got it right or wrong, I'm just going to take my shot. You liking that one? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hit Lock the red it. button. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got it. Correct spelling of Rockweiler is R-O-C-W-H-I-L-A. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. It's Mike. Uh, it's Mike. You gotta. <laughs> Rock Will Hay. Like, come on, man. Rock Will Hay. Rock Will Hay. And, and you expect him to be able to spell this shit? I, I mean, it's a solid, seg- solid effort, though. Yeah, next segment. You got I'm two out of five. Two out of five. <laughs> next I'll segment. Take my he know, he done figured this shit out. He know how to go now. He like, yeah, if I do right. this you fast get it. enough, you get it. You get it. All right, cool. Well, yeah. Chico got two out of five. Didn't do great, but you know. Uh, I mean, I got two out of five. That's hey, that's a D plus. I passed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, and it's Net Boy Radio Podcast. We will be shut it down right back. Yeah, we're yeah, ready we can be a, be a group. Yeah. Yeah. That it's a real yeah. singing group right there. You did it right there. You ain't even got no whispering. I'ma need y'all to disband. Y'all not a part of this band. Fell in love with my ex, man. But it wasn't my ex, man. Marble, these flowers are making. I know what my passion is. My bank account filled with commas. My hood speaking in tongues. They greet me with open arms. I live in Shalom. These haters get no response. They hate when you don't respond. I still come with baggage. Just not asking the way what's on. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Netboy Radio Podcast. Chick on I was just attacked by a rock wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I can only hope that there's some kind of dog related ad in between that. Right there. <laughs> yeah, that would be super dope. Oh, man. You good? You need anything? No, I'm great, man. Need some more water? water? No, I'm good. This Dr. Sebi water is different than that. <laughs> you have to put some ice in it or something? That makes it not alkaline. No, nah, one of these is just all you need. Okay. You know what I mean? This is, this is, this will last you a fortnight right here. It's that real alkaline water. <laughs> I trust your wife. She seems very reliable and dependable. She is, she is, she is. Unlike she is. this nigga. <laughs> all right. Back on you, Slim. And I was going to give you some nice good compliments, you know? Nah, nah, I don't care yeah, what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was fucking perfect. Sure, All right. sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Chico! Me! It is time for your button game. <laughs> Invited into your home. They sit down and produce a button inside of a box. They say, if you hit this button, you can have any tangible thing your heart desires. This is not a magical button. It can't bring anybody back to life, and it can't make anyone fall in love with you. Your choice has to be realistic. All you have to do to get it is to hit this button. But when you hit it, a random person in this world dies. However, if you don't hit the button, the person you love most dies. Player, what do you desire enough to hit this button? Save your loved one and kill a random person. You have five minutes. Begin. 
Uh, T Pain, man. First of all, man. What? You it's a lot go like on. that? You got too much time on your hands. I do. I do. I do. And that's funny. So, now, wait a minute. Time out. Did you change the voice to be the white man from Soul, nigga? Mostly. Yes. Oh my God, Ryan! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? You let this man steal our shit and do it better than that? <laughs> I know what I want to hit the button and say. I want this nigga fired. <laughs> I want this shit shut the fuck down. And I want all this shit taken back to the studio. Where it originated, bro. What the fuck are we doing with our money, uh, Ryan? Man, you put it back into yourselves. Man, come on, bro. How so, you get your voice to sound like that, T-Pain? It's a couple, it's a, it's a couple things. We got, you know, all the stuff y'all got in that back room, it's in our back room, too. So, oh, my God, man. This, this is amazing. Check Could you out. put that effect on my microphone? I cannot. Well, fuck this shit, <laughs> man, man. This ain't fair. You just said he was using our shit. I want to see what it sound like. I'm the right, game right, master. All right, all right, all right. I'm so I got to press this you got, button, you press and this ran- button and a random person dies. Correct. But whatever I wish for comes to fruition. Absolutely. And I can't bring anybody back to life, Correct. and it has to be realistic. Absolutely. He's smart. Um, okay. Jazzy Faye, Jazzy Faye said he wanted to build a, a children's hospital. Uh-huh. Jacob Lattimore said he wanted a boat, boat, but he didn't specify what kind, so we gave him a canoe. Okay. He meant a yacht, but he didn't specify. So, um, I, so does it have to be a tangible item that I want? It has want? to be a tangible thing. Oh, it has to be a thing. It has to be a tangible thing that you can thing. see, touch, taste, feel. No money. Oh, yeah. money, no. Is, money is whack. Everybody no money. Is okay. money is just like whack. No money. Yeah. And it has to be something tangible that I have to receive. Correct. It can't be an idea. It can't be no, something no. that figurative that I would like to see happen. It has to be a thing. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and also the rules. We go by genie rules. I only have one actually. We gotta come up with a different way to explain but, this. But that's a, <laughs> I'm about to say if you're doing genie rules, that means I get three wishes. No, done. genie rules means basically if you say you want the biggest dick in the world, we just make everybody else smaller than yours is right now. <laughs> he trying to figure out how that works. Like my nigga. We don't have any. Can we pause this. the clock? I just no, no, no. You got to pause the clock. You about to make sure because of all sure the shit you could have used as an example. You go I feel straight like the just, most, That's the most devastating that people be like, okay, I get the argument. Honestly, no, I, that, I wasn't even nowhere near. There. <laughs> and you just pulled up and asked me to ride with you and took me straight to Dick Park, my nigga. <laughs> like, bro, what's Two up? Two minutes. Not Dick Park. Two minutes. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I got you. Okay. Here I got go. you. Yeah. What are, what are you? Uh. I know what I want. You think, okay? Let's let's hear okay. it. Okay, let's I'm work hit this the out. button. <laughs> all right. Yeah, explain first. No, no, no. First of all, for you not to actually have a button is disrespectful. Oh, niggas tripping, ain't it? But crazy as hell, boy. All right. All right. I'm really gonna lose this job tonight. <laughs> all right, nappy boy buttons. There we go. You know that'd be a good idea for you to come out with a line of dress shirts. <laughs> With nappy boy buttons. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yeah. To the random person that passes away, God bless you. I hope you live this, a lovely life. Mm-hmm. Stop the clock, nigga. I I did. Did. You don't stop until you say what it is, because this could rip Forty up. acres and a mule. <laughs> so you just want to live in Cali? What? <laughs> If we give you 40 acres, we'll just put you in fucking... 40 acres and a mule. In Alaska. 40 acres and a mule. That's what I want. In, in, right in the middle of Antarctica. That's where we put you. <laughs> so you get to determine where I get my shit at? You, you got to tell them. You, you got to say it where it's going to be oh, at. 40 acres and a mule in whatever state I choose in the United States. You got to pick, gotta pick a place. I got to pick a place we, in yeah. Washington, D.C., where I'm from. They don't They don't have that up there. <laughs> well, you better find it, motherfucker. That ain't the part of the rules. <laughs> What are you going to the mule in Washington, D.C.? In Washington, D.C. That's what, what I want. What, what sex do you want the mule to be? What sex do I want the mule to be? You see, you still on dick, t pain, <laughs> and I don't want to play no more. I don't want to play no more, man. I don't want to play. In Washington, D.C., in, in my hometown. 
There you go. It's Black History Month. That's why I chose that. <laughs> it's Black what? History Month. I, I like how it was just for you, though. It's only for you. The, it's just that's just what you want. No, you. you I get to do whatever I want to do on my forty acres, right? I mean, and the mule. We didn't say that. I mean, first of all, this game is rigged. <laughs> This game is rigged. You 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 led you led with random dick. Then you come with all this different type of stipulations that you gotta have. What's a like, better way to explain ass shit you got going on, T Pain? What's this, a better way to explain that we can flip shit on you in, in any in any time? The game should be press this button and whatever the fuck I decide I want it to be after you press it is what it's, it's a gonna regular be. shit. That's what it should be. There should be but no if you don't all specify, that extra money you spent on production for that. <laughs> video I did all where that. you stole all them clips from them random horror movies was I unnecessary. I did you could have just started with the voice I looked and up, said I, looked up, I, looked up top I 10, have a game. Top 10 and then, vintage clips. You, I want to have a game. <laughs> I'm about to ask you to press a button and when you press the button, whatever you ask for, I'm act like that shit ain't real and tell you what the fuck you really is about to get. And then I'm just going to randomly throw dick in there at some point. <laughs> That's why I give you five minutes so I can figure out a way to incorporate dick in some way, shape, or form into whatever it is you request. Are you ready to play? You gotta remember Nappy that nigga boy from Florida. Buttons. Oh man, why why bring states into this? I what mean, happened? This, now? No. Oh my god, we figured it out. Oh, you did it though. Here. I did it. And, Forty and acres. Rest in peace. Forty acres mm. and a mule. Rest in rest in peace to whoever the fucking. See, if you was smart, then you would have been like, oh, you get Spike Lee's production company. But you're not even thinking because the dick's <laughs> on your mind. Wow, <laughs> now, dick was on your mind because you didn't think about it. You could have said that. No, I already said that I wanted 40 acres and a mule based on the shit that y'all said I had to do the pick. Like, don't make it seem like I made the rules up to this dumbass game. This should have been the first segment. Switch the order of this shit. That's what I'm saying. Switch the order of this shit. This shit should have been before the spelling bee with Rock Will I and all of that Rock shit in it. I should have sung last. This was fucking stupid. I'm sorry, T Pay. I respect you are my friend. And I gotta tell you when some shit need to be scrapped. Oh, shit. Ryan. This was the one. Ryan. This was the one. This one needs to go. We need to get rid of this. <laughs> Whatever the fuck he stole this from, we need to scrap that on our shit too. Whatever we doing, get this shit the fuck out of here. This was a waste of goddamn five minutes, T Pay. Oh. There's so much more that you could have that you could be man. doing. That was- There's so much more that you have to offer. I walked downstairs and saw nine. Platinum plaques. You mean to tell me you couldn't figure out shit else for a nigga to do when I came to your house but play that dumbass game for five minutes? This shit was stupid as fuck, bro. And I'm sure your fan base is probably just like, oh, this is good. They, no, they tell love it. it. They, they love are it. lying to they you. They love it. Everybody wants to play the game. Everybody doesn't want to play they the do. game. Everybody, Everybody, Everybody want to come to your them. house. Everybody That's what they want to do. <laughs> And they figure this is the easiest way to come to your house because you get most excited about changing your voice. I'm going to tell you the truth. That's a dumbass game. Get rid of that shit. I wasn't even mad at fucking you heard me more than I'm mad at this dumbass shit. Shit is stupid. Let's get this shit the fuck out of here. Cancel this segment. We need to come up with some other shit for you to do, T Pain. This is it. This is the one. For no, no, nigga. No. That shit is dumb as fuck. I thought that was going to be very creative the way it came oh, it on. That shit, that shit was stupid. It was. Because you change the rules as you go, bro. I don't. I yes, don't. you do. Oh, well, that, bro. Like, that, okay, all right. Let's just say that you didn't change the rules. <laughs> what the fuck what, did you just. Uh, so if your dick wants to be the biggest dick in the world, and then for you to go like this. And then scale it back the way that you did. You went, so we're just going to make everybody else's smaller than yours. Like, bro, this, that was a dumbass part of the show. That, that was, was good. stupid That was good. Part. That was the best that part. That was horrible. That was the best part. That was horrible. If we can, if Don't we, put this if clip we, out. If we get Don't put this, this clip. This is the if time we get this part when you show it, this nigga. We, show him <laughs> instead of putting that clip out. What the fuck did I do put to you? Him, put him on the clip instead of showing this part. I tried to help uh, you. I'm trying to help you, nigga. <laughs> I want this whole part scrapped. I wanted to make it about you and your cocaine <laughs> addiction that you overcame. Sure. 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 Yeah. Sure. Never had me play no shit like that again. That was stupid. (laughs) That's why you asked me on the pamphlet what was my favorite person other than me. You was gonna make me kill my daughter for that dumbass shit. (laughs) Yeah. 
<laughs> you didn't answer. Did he answer? Did he answer that? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He said my kids. My daughter. You was going to make me kill my daughter for a game that you don't even know the fucking rules to I yet. I do know the rules. You just it. make them up every time you go. I and don't. then you telling me wherever. He, I somebody don't. said the they wanted thing. a boat, so we gave him a canoe. You a disrespectful <laughs> motherfucker. You nigga said a boat. He didn't you say what nigga kind. didn't want a fucking canoe. He didn't deep. say what You're kind. You an asshole, man. Well, guess what? And if this you is your way it, of showing it. The only, thing, the only thing I've learned from this game is niggas don't know how to explain themselves. In no, no, no. Niggas don't know how to explain rules. That's what niggas don't know how to explain. We explained it. No, you didn't. You all, you have been saying the entire time why we've been sitting here. What's the best way to explain this shit? The whole show. So because it's clear. I knew you were going to fucking say something about the dick thing. <laughs> I didn't know. No, how did you know that at the beginning of the show? You because said at because the beginning of because of the show. because of because of how much we've been scrapping the dick conversations. We so have never had no dick conversations, see, Payne. I'm lying to the public like this. A couple dicks that came no, up. No, we've never ever a couple had dicks any that, conversations a couple about dicks dick that came up on the episode. So why? No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. A couple, couple dicks that came up on this episode. <laughs> he did that. Why are you a man? <laughs> Why you the fuck did me? do any of this shit. You I ain't say nothing about no shit. dick. Yes, you did. When? At the beginning. Yeah, you did, Pip. You did. And it made yeah. me uncomfortable. <laughs> What is that? You remember what you said? No, I never said nothing about no dick up in here. Yes, you did, bro. Oh, man. Run the tape back. Yeah, and then it's, now, it's... this was fucking stupid. <laughs> T-Pain, as your friend, no. your close friend, what you say? Get rid of that segment. No, that's the best one. That is the most horrible shit ever. That's the best one. <laughs> On about what the fuck does that have to do with Valentine's Day? That's the Halloween <laughs> segment. <laughs> You changing your voice to the soul man and shit like that's supposed to get help a nigga get some pussy? <laughs> like how the fuck am I supposed to be if I'm great uh. fuck on Valentine's Day with Nappy Boy Radio playing in the background and then you come on with the goddamn do you want to play a game voice? <laughs> how the fuck is that supposed to make the mood better? It worked for Barry White. What? Barry White had this voice. Barry White didn't have that voice. He that did. voice was from Saul, nigga. He like did. he what? said, Barry. That's not the same. I'm sorry. So you got too many fucking effects on your shit. That's not fair. That's not fair. That was fucking stupid. And this is a Valentine's Day episode, you and we should that. not be subjected to that dumbass game. <laughs> so everybody watching, just know if you was really great, put it in, and you heard this nigga. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, T Pain? Them got going on back there, man. <laughs> The fuck was that, man? Turn the light on. <laughs> oh, this nigga my here, God. man. That was dumb. I appreciate you. That was dumb. Thanks for playing. We might not be right back after that. <laughs> like, we might not be right back after that. I'm just letting you know. We might not be right back. We come right back. We come right back. So that boy radio podcast, we will be Shut it down. Right, right back. back. Fire. Fucking Maybe. Great. There you go. You did it. You did <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> If I made it back home. Mm. So if you guys are just finding out, the Pizzle Pack is a bunch of beats and songs that you can use in the background of your streams. Um, you know, it, it's always good to use these as beds. They're not for recording on top of. They're not for uh, permanent anything. They're not for your mixtape. It's for using as beds in the background of your stream. If, if you're uh, awkward as fuck like me and you don't like silence to be in the background of your shit, this is the perfect thing for you. It literally is a bunch of beats and songs that won't get you DMCA'd and, and it's actually good beats and songs and not that royalty-free bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Netboy Radio Podcast. I am your homeboy, T-Pain, a.k.a. your girlfriend's boyfriend. And I am Allison, a.k.a. Alizé, a.k.a. the girl that's... And I am Pip, a.k.a. Mr. Fresh Prince, a.k.a. Mr. God. God. Damn. Damn. And I am pissed off about that last <laughs> second. <laughs> The fuck I am I don't give a fuck We not moving past this shit Cause he gonna keep the box right there the whole time And throw this shit away bro This shit is stupid You gonna make me come to your house Every time you shoot one of these motherfuckers Just to stop you from doing that shit again bro That was the worst five minutes I've ever spent with T-Pain That's what the name of that segment should be The worst five minutes with T-Pain Ever. <laughs> it was seven minutes, but still, oh, uh, yeah, right, yeah, that was right, the best the part of the two, whole thing. All right, okay. That's let's, the best part of the whole the, thing. What's the next segment? Let's let's get it on. Let's get it on out the way. The next segment. <laughs>
<laughs> you gonna let the nigga talk to you like that, my boy? And you shut the fuck up. <laughs> You lucky to be here, nigga. After I found out you left that nigga hard drive in Tanzania, you didn't even go back so he can make a 56 nights like Future Man did. You just let the African nigga just come up off your man's shit. So you shut the fuck up. You know what? Because I might lose my job after this. Yeah, man, I don't want to hear that I'm shit. Finished. You I'm niggas. I'm gonna you shut up. It was about you. You know what? We cool uh. now because that shit he just did. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my God! Yeah, ah. yeah. Blessed and highly favored. Uh huh. Every you know? day, every day. The 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 next segment. <laughs> it's trivia. Okay. You, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, I, how are, how are you at trivia? Uh, yeah. <laughs> As long as it's not black history, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I don't know what to say now. You know, yeah, yeah, I, you I got know how you niggas say you like to soften. I don't think he you like to like to soften niggas up with R and B songs and shit and mental health conversations with extra lights. You casting spells on nigga in this bitch. Things gotta go in a certain shit. order. Things gotta go in right, a certain right, order. Let's do the trivia. Let's all see right, what here we got. go. This was worth money though, actual fucking money. So okay. I mean, you don't get it. That's why Who we asked it? you. Who we asked it? you what your favorite charity was. You said you. So <laughs> no, I said my family. I didn't say me, nigga. <laughs> that includes you, nigga. <laughs> no, my family don't include me. You can get the money to the niggas I'm supposed to give money to. Like <laughs> I got a couple niggas you can send this money to. Whatever it is. But you're gonna say goodwill. Good with, nah, I don't fuck with Goodwill. Okay. I had to do my community service when I got locked up at Goodwill. <laughs> oh, shit. They don't treat you right in there. They don't treat you right in there, man. When that truck come with all that old shit on it, they act like that shit new. <laughs> like, hey, watch, watch out, watch out with the, with the dresser. Like, man, give a fuck about this dresser that's missing three drawers, nigga. <laughs> and I gotta carry this bitch by myself. You gonna be fucked up in here. Not Goodwill. No, no, not uh, Goodwill. St. Jude's. Uh, yeah, I'll take St. Jude. St. Jude's will work. St. Jude's St. Jude, you know what I mean? God or, or uh, you know, a, a mental health, something for mental health mm. for black men. How about that? Oh, there is one. one there's that, there's right? a bunch of those. We so let's something. do that since that's been the conversation. I think Because so. I'm going to need some therapy after that last segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go talk to my therapist. You know, this nigga T-Pain stole five minutes of my life <laughs> With the dumbest shit ever, bro. I thought he was my friend. I'd have been sitting beside a coke addict the whole show and not saying nothing. <laughs> just letting this nigga just vent and say whatever he want to be calling me the little homie and all type of shit. I'm just taking that shit just for the nigga that I thought was my man to pop a fucking box out with a Staples Easy button in it and make up. Man, all right, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. God let's damn it, Chico this. Bean. Oh, let's, let's make let's you. It, some dumb money. Okay. <laughs> Treat me like right. Treat me like right. Dang. Oh, oh, man. Chico <laughs> Bean, you got five questions. All okay. multiple choice. You get no lifeline. You get no help. The second you get one wrong, the game's over. Okay. Each question is worth money. You got 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000. You get up okay. to 1,000, we'll send that to the charity of your choosing. We're going to figure out the name of it after this. But also, viewer and listener, again, every time we say this, y'all be acting like we're crazy. If you feel like you want to donate more, the link is in whatever you fuck you do listening to this on. Just go hit it and go fucking help. If you feel like $1,000 ain't enough, well, fucking you help too then. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Chico, you ready to make some dumb money? Uh, yes. All let's right. Do it. For a hundred dollars. Okay. They're gonna sue the shit out you. In cooking. <laughs> that sound. They are going to sue the shit out of you. It ain't happening yet. I know that sound. In Let's cooking. Do. To what does an espuma refer? Is it a a foam? Is it b a sauce? Is it c a cream? Is it d a condiment? You cook. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> We got him, y'all. We got him. We did it. I'm we just going to take a guess and say uh, uh, cream. C. Do you know how to cook? You don't? Yes, I do, but I've never used the espuma. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I know what the fuck. Ryan, what the fuck is an espuma? <laughs> Ryan might know for real. Ryan, you be doing hey, all them posts about food and shit. You ain't never ate no espuma. <laughs> nigga, know that espuma. <laughs> You're going to oh, say a cream is what you're going to say. Yes. What are you going to do if you get the first question wrong? 
the same thing I did on the last segment. <laughs> Nothing, because the rules are fucked up over here. Go ahead. I don't. I, I, I said cream. Please, cream. Ah, Damn. That's Boomer's eye. Damn. Final uh, answer. Let's see what you got. I don't know what it is. You do? I don't. Oh. I do. <laughs> it's not cream. Oh. oh. Damn. What is it? It's it was a phone. a phone. It's a phone? Yeah. You did good, man. Bruh. You did good. <laughs> Bro, 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 turn this shit the fuck off. Turn all this T-Pain shit off, bro. Turn all this T-Pain bruh. shit off, bro. <laughs> you got me fucked up, <laughs> T-Pain. <laughs> like this whole time, bro. You talked to me in Africa. We was in Africa, like, bro. When you gonna come do my show, bro? I really want you to be there. Just for you to play with me at the end of the show like this, bro. Them last two segments, you should have led with this dumb ass shit, bro. You should have let me sing at the end, bro. That's how I want my show to end. I want to go out and sing. You got me fucked up. You done bring Ryan. Bro, what the fuck is up with you, bro? You Ryan. Done, Ryan made me come fly in for this shit. Like, yo, the people at T-Pain, they really need you, bro. They really want you. They really, when in reality, this nigga want to just get everybody off the show. He said that at the beginning. This nigga really want Fly to come do this shit. That's what we really waiting on. And you gonna let him come do me like this, bro, in front of all this Harry Potter, a coke head, my man that don't give a fuck about the police, my Samoan nigga back there from PG County, Los Angeles. Like that. Bro, this was, a, this was fucking ridiculous, man. We got, we got your gifts. <laughs> then a nigga gonna give me the Then a nigga gonna pull up the bag That you take to the grocery store When they charge for bags is this, We got It's custom Man get the fuck out of here T-Pain Get the fuck out of here T-Pain I saw your cat my nigga this is, You got too much money to give me a bag like that Like what am I doing here bro It's, it's, it's an environment no, no 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 Fuck that Cause y'all don't know I'm, I'm talking I'm gonna tell you, you see, Niggas was talking like T-Pain You and T-Pain Should do a podcast together No the fuck we should <laughs> Never fucking working With this nigga again After this shit That Spuma my nigga Rock will you Hey bro What the fuck is happening Over here you getting the bay, bro? Oh nah, you didn't know what that spuma was. I don't know what the you don't know what that spuma is, and if you do, it's because you rich, nigga. <laughs> I thought it was a spoon. It's of course you would, because that's what you do your coke on spoons. I bad. This shit stupid, man. When this air, bro, so I can not post this shit. This shit stupid as fuck. Valentine's Day, man. Ain't no Valentine's Day with that deep ass monster voice you had, nigga. You stole that from Carlos. That's monster, nigga. That's monster, nigga. That's monster, nigga, bro. You just going mad this shit, bro. Bro, if it wasn't for your beautiful wife being so nice with these cups that she ordered off of Backpage, wherever she got them from. <laughs> Then I went, bro, like this shit, I can't believe this shit, man. This man said he wanted to do a podcast with me. Hide the coke head, nigga. Oh. In my place. No disrespect to you, bro, because you, you oh kicked God. the habit, and I respect that. That's right. I salute you, bro, That's right. for what you've you. done. I appreciate you, man. But T-Pain so ain't shit, bro. Oh. Like, you, 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 like, come on, bro. Like, that I didn't so know good. you was this type of human being. As Spuma, my nigga. <laughs> Now you gonna make me the nigga that don't donate no money to my <laughs> charity because you gonna start with a spoon. You didn't want to fuck with me because I said it was my family, bro. You found the hardest shit. You couldn't start with a regular question. <laughs> like, what's the what's the largest state in America or some shit to work my way up to the... That's a billion dollar question. You gave me first. That's a million dollar question you gave me first, bro. That's fucked up. No, we don't make the questions. Then who make the questions it's then? It's randomly generated. Who the fuck made the software for you to know it's not, T-Pain? I don't it believe is. that. You started with, nah, I don't believe that. It's Espuma, a, my nigga. It's a game that's already on the Switch. We, we use the Switch for that. Part. You use the Switch for Well, give me the Switch then so I can donate that to my family. <laughs> The fuck you could have sent that instead of that goddamn pamphlet I filled out, bro. You know the bag? Like, no, I don't. <laughs> Let me see what's in it first. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's some more games and shit. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all see what T-Pain get to his friends. You see how smart this nigga is? That's, talking about that's a game. Ain't no fucking game. Read the shit. Now, we happy boy gaming. T-Pain's next level gamer shot. That's what this is. It's, it's not a game. energy shot. 
It's an energy show. Well, this, that's just more fucked up advertising about <laughs> two things. <laughs> Why would you have a video game on the because front of this? It's, you know what this will do to a little boy? Ooh, mommy, I got a new system. And then you open it up. And it's some juice. This <laughs> <laughs> <That> shit stupid. <laughs> Can I mix you a drink? For a nigga that can't read, <laughs> they gave me a book. It's mostly pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That dumbass game that we just played. <laughs> My, no disrespect to the nigga that made it, but hey, Slim. You, hey, no disrespect. Y'all go get this shit so you can be mad at your house like I was here. <laughs> and then finally, a t-shirt made in Nicaragua. <laughs> this nigga got a t-shirt made in Nicaragua. <laughs> That's probably where he ate some espuma at and nigga fucking robbed him. <laughs> Yo, this shit is fucking crazy. Oh. Yo, I'm out of here. Ryan, come get this shit. <laughs> Ryan, well, come, guys, come, come get this shit. That was Ryan. Network Radio Podcast. <laughs> Hope you had a good fucking time. Chico did not. I had a great time until the end. <laughs> this was one of the funnest times I ever had until the end. Hell yeah, man. Why would you end this shit like this? Thank you for coming through, man. That's that. We man gotta, let's, let's do it again. Let's, let's do it again. Do, oh, you want to do it again? Oh, I you bet. Get- <laughs> I bet. Uh, you better have me some fucking espuma when I come back to this shit. <laughs> <laughs>